into two. A very good morning, ladies. Can you give us a few details? <laughs> Good morning to you, G. A very good morning to you, South Africa. I am so jealous about Uncle Tabsy waking up with Somizi Songo this morning. Not only that, he gets to enjoy food prepared by him. Breakfast prepared by Somizi Songo. How does that sound? It's the breakfast that we signed <laughs> up for. It's a breakfast yes. that we all want because Somizi yes. is always coming with a drama. But listen, we just we got uh, another drama that's happening this weekend. Mm -hmm. The big divide in Cape Town, in South Africa, in the world. Manchester United and Liverpool is going head to head this weekend. Who are you rooting for? Half of the, the studio guys are screaming Manchester <laughs> United, the other people screaming Liverpool. I'm a drag sitter. I'm like on the fence. I used to be Manchester United when David Beckham still used to play because you know that's my man. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, what about you, Kutle? So that's you... the only reason you used to watch Manchester United because of David Beckham? 100%. I don't blame you though, Tommy. You know the, the only player that I know from Man United is Wayne Rooney. Uh, I don't even think... You don't even know. But the uh, current Italian. player is Pogba, but I don't know his name. <laughs> I don't know his name. So I'm supporting Manchester United because I know at least two players in that other team. But please let us know, with more knowledge on the soccer field, you know, which team are you voting for? I can actually feel Ryan. Ryan, <laughs> like energy just here, just like Ryan, the sports writer, he's like looking at us like, what are you doing? <laughs> he's going to be giving us a lowdown of all to come with regards to sports. But right now, yes. let's get into those news headlines with G. Glory, glory, man united. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. We'll delve into our sports in just a moment. But right now, let's get into our national news first. ESCOM says there is a high risk of load shedding until at least this, uh, September this year. Earlier, the embattled pump our utility announced the commencement of stage two rotational outages that would continue up until Sunday evening. This is due to the loss of generation capacity overnight. The power utility spokesperson Sikunati Machancha said units at the Kusile power station tripped as well as a unit each at the Creel and Duva stations. He said the system therefore remains unpredictable and the stage of load shedding may change at short notice. So keep an eye. Then President Cyril Ramaphosa has significantly boosted the national prosecuting authorities' ability to fulfill its role with four senior appointments. All four are senior advocates with extensive experience. Anton Duplessis returns to the MPA as Deputy National Director of Public Prosecutions, tasked with strategy, industry and compliance. He is currently the UN Security Council's Chief of the Counterterrorism Directorate. Lebohan de Neo Baloy, previously with the Scorpions, will head the Commercial Crime Unit. Bonnie Curry Gamo, the unit for sexual offences and then Priya Biseswar, the asset forfeiture unit. On the international front, but staying on the African continent, Ugandans wearing face masks to brave the pandemic voted yesterday as police and soldiers patrolled the streets of the capital Kampala during a presidential election, putting longtime leader Yoweri Museveni against popular singer Bobby Wine. Internet access was cut off and there were fears of unrest as security forces tried to stop supporters of Wine from monitoring polling stations. Some 18 million voters were registered for the presidential and parliamentary vote. The result will be expected tomorrow. Then a racing pigeon which survived a grueling 13,000 kilometer journey across the Pacific from the US to Australia will now be put down because of Australia's strict quarantine rules. The pigeon went missing during a race in the US state of Oregon in late October and turned up in Melbourne two months later. Officials say the pigeon, named Joe after US President-elect, poses a direct biosecurity risk to Australia's poultry industry. It's not clear how it managed to make the 13,000 kilometer journey. It's most likely hitched a lift aboard a cargo vessel. And now, staying with the animal kingdom, a touching story concerning magnificent Mustangs. The Sky Dog Wild Mustang Rescue Sanctuary in Oregon in the U.S. has posted a video on social media which has already recorded some 8 million likes and a more touching love story one just couldn't imagine. It concerns Phoenix, a magnificent wild Mustang, his lead mare, Ghost, and Claire Staples, owner of the Sky Dog Sanctuary. After seeing a video of Phoenix scaling a barrier after capture in a a manner she'd never seen in any other horse too. Claire adopted him, but Phoenix was sad at times. He would stare off like he was looking or waiting for something. Claire realized there was also a mare in the video and she began a search for her. She eventually located her and brought her to the sanctuary and named her Ghost. Well, Claire captured their emotional reunion on video when Phoenix spotted her from a distance. He called to her, stared at her almost in disbelief and then trotted
darted straight towards her. Next, they both bent their necks into each other, touched noses, neighed softly and ran off together. Undoubtedly, even after two years, they still adored each other dearly. Well, Phoenix and Ghost are now forever together and free and will happily grow old side by side. Well, that warm and fuzzy note is where we leave our headlines. Um, far less love to be shared in our sporting headlines. Well, there'll be a battle for top spots in the Premier Soccer League when defending champions Mamelodi Sundowns face Supersport United. That's at the Lucas Moripe Stadium tomorrow. Sundowns and Supersport sit in first and second place in the standings, respectively, with only two points separating the teams at this stage. Now, the big fixtures over the weekend Cape Town City host Kaiser Chiefs, Baraka FC take on Swallows, and Black Leopards face Orlando Pirates. Staying with football, Arsenal and Crystal Palace played out to a goalless draw at the Emirates Stadium in a pretty forgettable English Premier league fixture late last night. Both teams walking away with a single point as Palace ended Arsenal's four-game winning streak. And looking ahead to the weekend, all eyes will be on Anfield when arch-rivals Liverpool take on Manchester United on Sunday. Kickoff for the match of the weekend will be at 6.30 p.m. That's on Sunday. Then, of course, on the tennis front, former world number one Andy Murray might miss the Australian Open after testing positive for coronavirus. The 33-year-old Briton is, however, said to be in good health while he remains in quarantine at his home in London. The Australian Open will start on the 8th of February at Melbourne Park, three weeks later than usual due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, as the lady said, Ryan Frieda, the least objective sports reporter in the world this weekend, is here to chat all things football in just a moment. For Stick around for that right now. Let's uh, take a look at some of your beautiful sunrise pictures. A very good morning to you, South Africa. Thank you so much, G, for that news and sports update. It's time for us to get into the first look at uh, the weather for this Friday morning. Global meteorological agencies agree that 2020 was a scorcher, but they are divided on just where it ranks in the temperature records. For NASA, last year is in a statistical dead heat uh, where it with 2016 as the warmest year. Others, including the UK Met Office, believe it is second in the rankings dating back to the 19th century. But all the agencies agree that the last 12 months are part of the warmest decade on record. Taken together, they show the global temperature is now around 1.2 degrees Celsius above the 1850 to 1900 average, sometimes referred to as the pre-industrial figure. And while greenhouse gases declined by around 7% globally last year in response to the coronavirus shutdowns, this wasn't sufficient to affect temperatures. We'll get into your beautiful sunrise pictures and the temperatures for this Friday as we get into the weekend at the top of the hour, seven o'clock. But for right now though, let's see what's coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Well, a little feel-good breakfast, that's what, of course, Tobiso is out on the range. He is getting to kickstart his day with someone very special this morning. Um, I think a lot of people out there would love to know how Sumizi wakes up every day. And if he is as good in the kitchen as we see on TV, well, Tobiso is going to find out firsthand this morning, hopefully getting a little breakfast cooked for him. It's time to connect with two of these superstars and hopefully help you wake up in the right way. Are you ready for a sizzling summer holiday in Zanzi? Your best holiday is yet to come when you book at any participating Marriott branded hotel. Redefine your holiday with a beach break, nature retreat or a road trip adventure. With the Marriott Summer Holiday Offer, you can enjoy 25% off standard hotel rates, including free breakfast if you're a Marriott Bonvoy member and 15% if you're a non-Bonvoy member. Book on Marriott.com for the best rates guaranteed.
Welcome back to your Friday morning uh, broadcast of Expresso. Time to have a little bit of fun with two amazing guests this morning who, yes, will be performing for us in just a moment. We thought we'd get to know them just a little bit. Vocalist Devonisha Smarts and multi-instrumentalist Wilkin Kallitz. So they have combined their talents and skills to become an Afro-acoustic pop duo. I hope that label sits well with them. The Cape Town-based performers who released their debut EP back in 2019, which features their hit single, Mzanzi Lullaby, have won numerous awards within the South African entertainment industry. And this morning we get to, to know the multi-talented duo just a little bit better uh, before, of course, uh, they take the floor and perform a couple of tracks. Uh, Rumi Sabrief, uh, we've got Dream State, and of course, Mzanzi Lullaby. Guys, welcome to Thank it. You. Thank Thank you for having Early morning for Musos, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so early. I, I hope you haven't pushed through and, and just, you know, not slept, um, which is often the case with the music. Guys, so good to have you here. Happy 2020, you. man. Yeah. 2021. 2021. Yeah. He's still living in the past. No, but no, we, no. we're soaking in this just new we, space. Let, yeah, me in the go, <laughs> let me go, please. <laughs> it's so good to have both of you because we know that both of you started at, at the University of Stellenbosch, and then that's basically where you met. But tell us a bit more about how this duo came about. Well, that was a very funny story. Mm -hmm. or serendipitous, I would say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> someone called us up and said, listen, they need a show or uh, they need a guitarist and a vocalist in two days' time. Huh? Yeah, to perform in two days' time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's the first time uh, we met. We met at University of Stellenbosch, um, and mm. I walked into this room, and there's the, this is girl sitting, she's not saying a word, just checking me out. <laughs> and, just checking, making, says, to, mm, yeah, making sure. Says, Do you know this song? I'm like, yeah, I know the song, which key? It just worked out. So yeah. uh, we rehearsed for 10 minutes, and we did the show two days after that, and yeah. that's how the whole thing is born. And then at that show, everyone was asking, like, how long have you guys been singing together, like, performing together? And we said, it's been two days. Yeah. And they were like, wow. wow. Two, whole two, two whole days. Two whole days. Not even a whole day. <laughs> we didn't play on the second day. So exactly. <laughs> it's an hour. And so everyone was like, wow, this this feels like it's been going on for such a long time. So we said, well, then I guess it works. And How many years ago was this? In 2018. 2018, yeah, yeah it was uh, August 2018. Yeah. And uh, we've been writing songs ever since. Mm. Uh, this year's been difficult, but we kind of send voice notes, and she goes, uh, what do you think of this? <laughs> and then I send her something, and then yeah. I compile it um, on my, my program or my... Um, uh, we made it work. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. we made it work. You've got an honours degree in drama, if I'm Yes, correct. I did my honours in creative writing from the drama department, Stellenbosch University. Um, um, yeah, and I finished two years ago now, 2009. So now has that become a plan B? Or is <laughs> well, come on, right. <laughs> be honest. I need to know. The thing is, I didn't I'm write it. I'm asking on his behalf right now. Okay. The, band band off to this <laughs> the problem is, like, um, it has been such a tough time for us because um, we're both live performers. Um, I'm an actress, so I'm a stage actress as well. So. Um, all of those things got cancelled and so you write in your spare time while you cry um, yeah but it's it's process. not a plan B. It's, yeah. it's a process yeah it's not a plan B I think everything is a plan A yeah right for now. sure yeah. yeah just let it flow gotta tap in definitely you however tap a bit into more the musical side with uh, uh, the violin and the guitar but also studying languages that is an interesting mix between the two so <laughs> what is your vibe what is your plan <laughs> I have no idea why I did it uh, so <laughs> I studied at the University of Stellenbosch, studied music, uh, violin, and then I sustained an injury from overplaying. Uh, it's a rep repetitive strain injury. And then I, then I, real I, well, I realized I have to do something creative because I can't play. I started reading uh, everything um, I got my hands on, and I decided I want to be part of this of writing. So I started writing plays and eventually went over to uh, short stories, and I published my first novel. Actually, on the day I, uh, I got the book in my hand on the first day of lockdown, which I think is the 15th of March. <laughs> I can't think so yeah, that, that, that was a, that was like a nine-year cycle, and um, yeah, so I'm doing both. Uh, but she's also she also writes plays and so on. So uh, we both love music and words. Match yeah. made in heaven. Yeah, I was going to say this. This is this is an opportunity to branch out here, guys. Yeah. If ever you know, a duo was prepared for the pressures of lockdown, I think you guys have got that nailed down. What's the creative process like with you two? Is it a is it a an equal playing field? Who drives what? It really is. Like um, a lot of people ask us what how we create our music, and we literally go from song to song, and we see how it 
like we are not precious about anything. If I say Vulcan, that chord is not beautiful. He'll go, okay, cool, let me change it. <laughs> if he says Devanisha, change that lyric, we'll change it. Like it's a very, um, yeah, very egoless space. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and we protect the music, and that's, oh, that's, that's 2021 is new. It's fresh. You guys have had three years of working together. <laughs> what can we expect from you guys uh, for the rest of the year? Well, hopefully performances <laughs> at the, all the festival, festivals we can. So we just continue writing songs and uh, lyrics, and because we both feel that lyrics, uh, lyrics is the root mm. of all songs. If you have the music, well, that's just my or, or um, how I feel about it. If you have, if you know what you're singing about, then the music flows. Yeah. So that's what we're doing, just exchanging lyrics and uh, seeing what comes up and uh, voice notes and uh, WhatsApp. What and I'm songs. picking up is you're going to release an album. That's what I'm, I'm hearing. I'm hearing you're going to release go. an album. <laughs> we, we need a couple of grand. <laughs> so I don't know if you so have. So any sponsors? Don't say to me, say please. it to them. So yeah. Anyone yeah. in some um, spare change? Because <laughs> um, there's always crowdfunding. Uh, <laughs> Devanisha, guys, uh, so good to have you. I cannot wait to let you perform because the stage is yours and there are a lot of people watching so hopefully that'll give you just a little bit of the feel good this morning and you will certainly get a taste of this amazing duo so stick around trust me when i say g i cannot wait for those performances a little later on here on your feel good breakfast show but i welcome you to the kitchen because summer is in full swing well except for today if you are in cape town which means that we're often in need of something cold and delicious to drink it's iced coffee with a twist instead of putting ice in the coffee we're putting coffee into the ice but before i actually get into it i need the help of my trusted I want to say sous chef because I want to guide you on how Thank to you actually so much. do Thank this. You. Um, I appreciate it. I, yeah. I love coffee in any form. You know this. This is my happy place. Mm. And this is already looking really, really interesting. It okay. really is interesting. What do you need G? me to do? So what we need to do is very simple, okay? okay. Um, we're going to make ourselves black coffee, a lungo preferably. Okay, so okay. that's the longer. That's the 110 mil as opposed to a 40 mil, uh, mil espresso. Cool. Exactly. Um, it's three times bigger than a normal espresso. Well, almost three times. So we're going to make a lungo here with okay. our Nespresso machine. After that, we pour it into the jug so that we can um, get it into the ice tray. Into, oh, wow. Yes. So that's how we arrive at that, okay. 100%. Come on, so, brain. Come on, you <laughs> could have figured that out. I could have worked that out. I'm sure I could. This is really exciting because we have a variety of different flavors here on the table and mm. you get to choose your favorite capsule to use. I think because we, we're doing something smooth, I mean, I, mm. I love them all, but uh, the vanilla eclair yes. is phenomenal. Yes. I think that'll yes. go so well. Yes. We've got a dessert vibe. Mm. I think that's definitely the way to go. Cool. It's very low intensity. Also, I mean, the suggest way to serve a vanilla clear is an espresso but also you can't limit yourself in terms of oh. you know what you need to do and stuff like that it's, it's got a it's not overly sweet when you say mm -hmm. vanilla clear it's not going to be like a completely sweet drink it just has these notes these mm. kind of buttery vanilla -y, very sweet notes a finish on it that's absolutely amazing it's lovely and I find those these are the best to enjoy as an espresso because you get to really experience the, yeah. the flavor notes the intensity of it I absolutely agree with you it fully plays into the different flavors that G has just mentioned and also just leaves a silky kind of mm. smooth feeling into, the, into your mouth. Okay, I just need to make sure it doesn't spill over. I love this machine so much, it's so efficient. Okay, G, now you can grab the cup of coffee yourself. You. Yeah. And yes, I'm please. I'm gonna put it into the, the jug, huh? Uh-huh. Are you a fan of iced coffee at I all? I am. Um, like Frizos, iced coffee, mm. um, anything and everything like that, I, I love it. Um, absolutely draw it. So now I'm putting this into the ice tray. Huh? Yes, please. Have you ever had this? Coffee in ice cubes. I mean, we put ice this cubes in our coffee all the time. <laughs> no, this is completely new for me and I absolutely love the idea. Oh, but the smell, hey? What do you get from that? Oh, it's just permeating the, the studio. Mm. Oh, I love it. And you do, it's like they somehow managed to sneak in the sweetness without it tasting sweet. Mm. I don't know how to, how to describe it, but mm. you really do get those strong, almost biscuity vanilla undertones, which yeah. is lovely. It's one of my favorite sweeter kind of flavor yeah. variants. Absolutely adore it. Okay, what's next? The next stage, we have condensed milk, we have milk, and we have hazelnut syrup. But now you don't have to limit yourself to hazelnut syrup. You can go for other flavors as well, depending on what your preference is. You can even go for vanilla essence if you mm. like, actually. So so now we pour everything into our glass. What do you think first? Ice blocks first. Ice blocks first. Oops. Perhaps that's going to be... 
more efficient. Just, yeah, I'm just thinking. But those ice blocks look so oh, delicious. Looks so cool, eh? <laughs> very, very, very cool. There we go. Careful. I'm trying to do you this. You can as... never have too many ice cubes, coffee ice cubes. Oh, and then as they melt, the coffee flavor is going to permeate through. I'll, mm. I'll squeeze in one more there. How's that? Awesome, G. Okay. The finishing touches now in whichever order, but we're putting everything into the glass. Okay, I'm going to let this drizzle. Ooh. Presentation. Five stars for you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is a treat, man. You're mm. treating yourself with this. Don't, it's not a calorie burner. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. It's going to give you a little shot. I'll put the milk in next. Uh -huh. Just top that up. <laughs> I'm sure you can bring everything together depending on your preference, what kind of yeah. milk you want to use, what kind of syrup or essence you want to use, yeah. Yeah. which coffee capsule you actually want to go for. Yeah, you can make it strong, but I think this is great. I think this, this flavor combination is going to work beautifully together. The vanilla are clear with yes. the kind of hazelnut undertone. Can I have a taste? Can Please, G. Did I make it this looks for so else? delicious. Please just show that to our viewers. Just look. It is amazing. There we go. Even the presentation um, is just stunning. That's amazing. Okay. Let me know how it goes. Wow. No. And it's so refreshing. I want one. <laughs> well, put I'll this in the myself. ice tray and then tomorrow come and speak I to will. me, okay? <laughs> um, no, that is absolutely delicious. It's refreshing mm. on these hot days that we're having. That's amazing. Mm. It's not overly sweet, but there's no. a lot of kind of complexity to the flavors there, the, the balance of the coffee. And already the coffee's coming through. Yes. You can imagine as you drink it, it's going to kind of get stronger and stronger. Absolutely beautiful. Well and done. And refreshing. Great, great. Shout out to you. You did recipe, a man. great job. Mm. Well, make sure to head on over to our website, Espresso oh, Show, to get your hands on this really cool and refreshing espresso recipe. Mm, that's really good. We chose some of the world's rarest local coffee crafts and refined them to create five distinct new tastes. After all, we are the choices we make.
we are in for a jam-packed weekend of footballing action with the Premier Soccer League and, of course, the English Premier League in full swing. Undoubtedly, the match of the weekend will be arch rivals, Liverpool and Manchester United. Maybe not having the luster of old, but there's still a lot in it, considering where both teams are this season. It's going to be going down on Sunday at Anfield. Will the defending champions Liverpool show their dominance or beat a resurgent Red Devils? So we will find out. I think Cape Town's probably split in two this weekend. Yeah, um, right down the middle, man. There's, there's, there's no in between. Ryan Frieda, <clears throat> you are the least partial person to be talking in to it. about this. I don't even know why we <laughs> brought you in yet um, but before we get to, to our English football there's also a lot in uh, the PSL and that's also been a pretty interesting season from thinking at the end of last year when before we broke that Sundowns are going to just run away with us we've started to see the other form the the teams get a little bit of a foothold super sports are now fighting for it we've got down super sport two points separating them on yeah. the log this is now quite an interesting fixture yeah top of the table clash there and um, and super sport have been building for a couple of years really they were in the mix towards the end of last season but fell away um, you know they just couldn't sustain there um, but they've been building something pretty special there um, and the fruits of that are, are, are to be seen now um, so they whoever wins the game between Sundowns and Supersport Supersport at home this weekend goes top of the log um, and um, and it's it's really been interesting watching them Sundowns um, we all expected them to be good like yeah. you said um, but uh, but it, but it's certainly that's certainly not going to be a cakewalk for them this season one team that we always expect more of that hasn't given us a huge amount seems to be finding their form again. Kaiser Chiefs. Godosa seems to have changed his role in that setup. What is now working for Gavin Hunt that wasn't? And, and where, where are Chiefs in the greater diaspora of things at the moment? Because yeah. they, they've been a bit of a conundrum this season. Yeah, it was always going to be tough for them. So they got a transfer ban and, um, and injuries really um, hampered them at the start of the season. They got a couple of players back now and you're starting to see a little bit more synergy, the type of synergy that that um, that made them really competitive last year. Um, so yeah, formation-wise, they've I think they've worked out some things, um, and um, and especially playing with a ten now, creating more opportunities um, is better. Is is, is obviously better for them when they found some form. Um, and so I wouldn't write them off just yet. It's going to be a long way back for them. They've started poorly um, and Sundowns and Super Sports, Swallows to, to, to the same degree, um, have started strongly. So I wouldn't write them off just yet, but they're certainly starting to find some synergy and form at the moment. Yeah, I'm gl glad you mentioned Swallows. Unbelievable story this season from where they've come just two years ago. But of course, uh, Chiefs up against Cape Town City, which is going to be quite a test. Amazulu Benny's uh, back in the area. He's going to be up against Maritzburg United this weekend. And then Orlando Pirates up against Black Leopards. All right. Let's get on to the business end of this discussion. Before we talk about uh, Manchester United up against Liverpool, which I think probably doesn't hold the same romance as days gone by, but there's a lot in it because both teams need something from it. Uh, Manchester United, there was a huge amount of pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's shoulders that he seems to have kind of sidestepped right now. Liverpool haven't had the kind of form that we expected from the defending champions. Injuries, yes, we are aware that they're missing a couple of stalwarts. Where are Liverpool and Manchester United now in this modern era? Is this still the same derby game that we, we, we know and love from, from old? Yeah, I think if you ask any fans um, of either teams, they will tell you that that, that fiction never loses its, its glamour, its intrigue. Um, and just the captivating nature of that fixture, you, it, you, you can't. You no know, matter when, when United weren't doing well um, in the past couple of seasons and Liverpool were, that game remained a big game. Um, so, so from a fan's perspective, that still holds the intrigue that it always did. Um, from a Liverpool perspective, um, you've got to say that United come into this in a far better space than they have in the last three seasons. Yeah. You and I were talking in November, early November last year, um, and United were 15th. Yeah. Um, Ali was about to lose his yeah, job. Yeah, he was about to lose his job. They've won nine of the last 11, drawn, drawn two, um, and they're top of the log now, and they can open up a gap at the top of the table if they win at Anfield. That's going to be hard. Liverpool haven't lost at Anfield since 23rd of April 2017, <laughs> and United haven't won there in five games. So. So history suggests and, and home form suggests that it's going to be a hard game for United. But if you just look at, look at this fixture in context, United have to come here thinking 
there's something here for us, especially with Liverpool's defence not being what it was in previous years. No, I want you to think about what's working for Manchester United at the moment. I think Paul Pogba playing a bit of a part there, the fact that he seems to have unlocked him in some way. They've got it right at the back. But we want to know from you guys at home, who are you supporting? Let us know on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page which team you are going to be screaming on your couch for over this weekend because there's going to be a lot of heat in it. Just very quickly wrapping it up, what's working for Man United at the moment? Um, I think they've worked out who their best 11 are. So, um, so that, that wasn't the case in, um, when, when they were struggling. So they, they needed a holding midfielder and they didn't know who their best one was there. And so they've got that now. And so the chemistry between um, whoever plays there, I think they've got a couple of good options there. Pogba and Bruno Fernandes is working brilliantly. Um, they're creating opportunities, scoring goals like Pogba did in the week. Um, and I think that's what's working for United. And that needs to work against Liverpool if they are to break Liverpool's winning streak at Anfield. Buddy, enjoy yeah. it. I know you're going to be nervous chewing your fingernails. You can let us know again. Who are you supporting? Is it Liverpool? Is it Manchester United? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Listen, it's such an exciting weekend in the sports world. Coming up, thank you so much to Ryan for always coming through to the show, sharing his expertise and sports analysis on what we can look forward to this upcoming Saturday and Sunday. And that's exactly what we are asking you on our social media platforms. Which teams between Man United, Manchester United and Liverpool will you be supporting and why? And we have received some interesting feedback on our Facebook page and Jamie has all the answers. I, I didn't want to go to it because some of you are like, ooh, I'm like, can we read this on air? But we'll start off with Llewellyn uh, uh, Timotheus. He says, Liverpool is a strong family. Mm. Donald says, Liverpool is an, an unbeatable team, so I support it. Mm. Gavin says, Liverpool, I currently have 75 tops. Wow. I'm behind my team, win or lose. Mm. To be a true supporter, you must always back your team. KB says, we are Anfield people. You'll never walk alone. Even has Ooh, a T-shirt. Look at him. And then with that, has a mask on. Hein Fortein says, my 50th birthday gift for my wife and boys, the 18th of December. And then uh, Ardeline says, glory, glory, man united. Yeah. Finally, this is the first glory, Manchester glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. Oh. And then how does it finish? <laughs> I don't know how when it finishes. When the Reds go marching on, but please let those comments keep coming on. We want to know who you're going to be supporting. Clearly, Kutli is going to be the, the, the backup singer at the back. Maybe not. Though. Please. But if they do need singers actually on the field, hit me up. I'll be there singing. Glory, glory, me united. Glory, glory, me united. Gino. <laughs> Oh, shakes head, shakes head, rolls eyes. Uh, now keep those comments coming. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, uh, and I knew we'd get a lot of comments this morning. It is going to be a fantastic fixture, two form teams. Um, it's going to be a great rivalry. Right now, we are looking for harmony in our kitchen. We are going to be whipping up a beautiful stir fry this morning using eggplant, which is a great veggie substitute. And I think Jamie is going to be doing the honors. I'll help out. Yes. Um, but we are going to be creating some magic, girl. No, regular. <laughs> Who do you really support in the mix? I'm a Dratsitter. Whoever's going to win, okay. I'm going to be like, yeah, I was rooting for them from day one. But other than that... Um, I'm, glad I'm, a, I'm glad I'm a neutral for this one. But right now, we have got far more important things to deal with. Um, you've been soaking your eggplant. Yes, for 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, just to get that, you know, get it clean. Uh, and then what we're going to do is hydrated. prep it. Yeah, okay. Absolutely prep it. So, Vegan aubergine stir fry, we're going to start with using our oil. Our wok is already on, it's nice and heated on some medium, medium heat. And we're gonna start with this and, the, first. and you want it to be hot. Yes. So when you're stir frying it, it fries from the second it goes in the pan. I think Perfect. that's something I've learned over the years is to keep a stir fry healthy because you, you don't want it to absorb the oil. And if it's gonna sit in the cold oil, it's gonna absorb the oil. When you fry it like this, you flash fry it. Perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use our cornstarch and we're okay. just gonna throw it over here, sprinkle it, and this is oh we can get a bit messy today. It's yeah, fine, absolutely it, fine. Um, and then this is gonna be the coating for for this. And then I wanna mm -hmm. do that over there. Okay. Are you taking part of the, in the vegan already? So are you I'm uh, not not fully, but I'm using it as, as an opportunity because I've started introducing a lot more um, vegetable kind of substitutes as I go. I've tried to take a leaf out of our, our book from last year where we really did kind of prove how more accessible it is. Um, mm -hmm. Also from a budgetary perspective, you can get away with more. And with me, it's about figuring out more the proteins 
in the space, but um, we, we just we we've reduced our meat footprint dramatically. And yeah, I've, it's a whole year thing, not just in January. So. Absolutely, and it's all about and being it. conscious. Yeah. That's I yeah. think that's the, the main thing. It's just being conscious and exploring about flavors because I think people shoot themselves in the foot because they they kind of go for bland options when it's you know a vegetable. Um, option and you really got to load the flavor in it. So what flavors yes. are you loading so in I there? I put some ginger and garlic in there. I'm going to put it back on because I didn't want it to burn. Okay. Uh, so just put it in. So again, the flavors, we always speak about putting the garlic in afterwards because we don't want that high sugar content to just I burn the Did flavor. you see how you magically manifested a spatula there? Yeah. It you, it just, came, just, I was like, you just went like... Dum, da, 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 that was amazing. This is a magical stir fry. Yes. Maybe you can actually help me. Maybe you can do the, the sauce for me. So you have... Maybe, you say. Maybe I can. Yeah, I can definitely do the sauce. Yeah. Um, I think at the, the base of any good um, stir-fry is uh, a soy sauce. Yes. And here we're going to sweeten it up just a little bit. Absolutely. I've got some caster sugar so it breaks down nicely, which I'm going to put in there as well. And some corn starch. starch. Yes, and that's going to be... Um, give that nice kind of thick. thickener. Yeah, definitely. Um, get out of your way. Um, and I'm going to mix that through. Um, and mix, that's going to make a delicious, and you can see the cornstarch starts to break down as well. Um, and you want to mix it through nicely so it's not too lumpy. Well, I suppose it's not the end of the world if you get little, little crispy bits in there. And this goes for about five to seven minutes on each side. You want to get that brown effect, mm. nice and crunchy as well. And then that pops in. Because the nice thing about uh, is, is the, the flavor changes quite dramatically. Once it's got that burn, that char on it, of the eggplant, I think it always tastes amazing. That's why I love doing it on the brine or something like that. And nice well, you want it to be really hot so it browns off and then it goes all soft and lovely on the inside. Okay, well, there we go. I think I've got my sauce. Are you ready? You can just pop and it in me. it across to you. And I'm going to throw this in. Oh. 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 It has to come to the side. <laughs> the side of this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That Look smells amazing. Color. And this is so, so simple. You think about it, we've used kind of minimal ingredients, essentially one ingredient and just some, some lovely Asian flavor additives there. Don't be shy with the ginger and the garlic. Absolutely Please. not. If you, if you want some chili as well, I would opt yeah, I'll, I'll put some sure. nice chili in. And if you want to even make it a, a bigger meal, you can throw in some noodles, some mm. spicy noodles. and. I mean, you could go kit. with some collie noodles if you wanted to stay on that stay tip. On the, um, if you, you know, obviously, moving away from the vegan style, you could get some, some egg noodles. There's ways that you could you could really enhance this. Yeah. That looks looks amazing. I'm gonna take that off a bit of the heat. You leave it, you add it, add some spring onion at the end. And Bob's your uncle. You have dinner is served for you and the entire family. Um, and I love the fact that you can rest That's assured the Be Well canola oil is locally produced. It's uh, naturally cholesterol free. It's low in saturated fats and very high in the big one, omega-3. It's also endorsed by the Heart and Stroke Foundation of South Africa, which is vitally important. Um, this sits in my kitchen now as an absolute staple. Absolute staple. In fact, the, the whole Be Well range, the mayo as well, has just become my favorite. Can you have a little taste in? Let me know. Oh. What it's, what it's like. Um, I'm not going to use a. I'm not going to try and embarrass myself and oh, with a. Oh come on! Give it a go! Give it a go, girl. Ah! Okay. Yay. Look at that. She was even shaking when you're using her hand. Mm. It's mooi. It's prachtig. It's lekker. It's. The brie. The. Give me some. Mm. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Siem de Lan day has, has kind of bled into our, our studio. That's amazing. You can find this recipe on expressoshow.com. I can't believe we've created something so delicious and wonderful out of such a simple ingredient. It's yeah. healthy. Um, and, of course, it's not going to break the budget as well. That is our Be Well eggplant or brunjal stir fry. Beautiful. Well done, man. Be Well. Love. Food. Life.
Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on SABC3. If you have just joined us, well, you are just in time to get an insider of which movies to look forward to when it comes to the SABC this coming weekend and who best to talk about movies than our movie guru, JP Sebastian. Woo! JP, it's the first time I'm seeing you in 2021. Happy New Year. Okay. okay. Yes. Sounds like very special privileges to be <laughs> able to bequeath happiness in these years. No shame. I'm sure it's going to be a good year. I hope for all of you it as well. It is going to be a good year because we know year. exactly what to look forward to. And you're about to tell us what to look forward to yes. this upcoming weekend. The first movie? It's called Defret. And it's it an Ethiopian movie. No. Oh. Uh, what, what would that mean in Afrikaans? I don't know. Defret, it sounds Afrikaans. Mm -hmm. Afrikaans is beya slech. Slech. I speak Afrikaans a little bit. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to like, restart a race war somehow by mispronouncing something. <laughs> so, Defret mm. uh, is executive produced by Angelina Jolie. That's why you see her name there. Oh, She's wow. Not, in fact, washing the movie by playing that actress. So, she put the money behind it and everything mm. like that. True story about something pretty harrowing. Uh, it's now illegal in Ethiopia as of 2006, but uh, it is customary in some parts, obviously, mm. you can't generalize, mm. to actually kidnap a woman you want to marry, mm. uh, take her from her family. Uh, uh, I'm like, is that my, is that my that phone? I'm so disorientating for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I'm the one who put that in there. I should know that a phone was going to ring. Sorry, JP looked up all confused for a second. Uh, so, true story of a young lady, 14 years old, mm. uh, gets kidnapped for a forced marriage and then defends herself by killing uh, the, the guy, uh, who was obviously a lot older than her. I think he was in his 30s. Irrespective, she, she, she defended herself and killed him, and then the, the village wanted blood because the custom was broken, mm. also because it's considered murder, I suppose, mm. until you give a due process and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Then a lawyer comes along who actually uh, changed uh, the law because this case set a precedent mm. for how this will be treated in future, and fortunately now it's illegal. Apparently only something like in, these, in the really high-risk areas, about 10% of marriages. Mm. In the low risk areas, it's like 1% of mar mar marriages, so it's, uh, there's an improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe this movie is worthwhile to actually ask, especially in a country like ours where gender based yeah. violence is a, a pandemic of its own. Yes. Uh, the, these conversations are always valid. And, and it's, uh, how empowering this must be as well, for especially it was for Ethiopian women. Uh, mm -hmm. The movie didn't, wasn't you know, necessarily the singular change, but it tells the story of the lawyer who, who got the wheels in motion for that kind of change. Uh, so, wow. uh, was Sundance winner, uh, one of the major awards festivals and as you can see it looks really competently and well filmed mm -hmm. uh, if it will get you in the feels people love these stories obviously since we hear we've heard like Malala Yousafzai or in the United States remember there was that Saitonia Brown girl who yes. really touched our, our lives that story mm. who was put in jail for 15 years for defending herself Imagine. from sex trafficking so pervasive and fortunately these kind of stories are having their stories told mm. um, I love that you've shared the story with us because it's something important to shed light on because these are people's realities and some people are not aware of it. So it's also very educational. It's a catalyst of change, as you've mentioned, that now the, the statistics have dropped over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Apparently there's a resurgence. Mm. Um, anyway, so look, make up your mind for yourself. Uh, SABC 3 tonight at 9.30. So, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. 9.30 tonight here on SABC 3. Different, everybody. Now, the next one is... Little Manhattan. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, that's way too racy as far as I'm concerned mm. for, for social distancing. That should be a maximum <laughs> of affection you're able to give anyone on the bench. Um, I'm sorry, my life has been brought to a halt. Yes, is, our life, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, shame. I'm, uh, the, especially the wink is as far as it goes. Uh, so, uh, this is a, a, a very cute uh, child romance. My first love type story, first kiss. Uh, I've not seen it myself, but it seems, it seems quite sweet. I've uh, watched this. JP, how, can, how could that, you that not dude, have watched who, this? Who's that actor, by the way? I'm not sure about him. That's Josh Hutcherson. That is the dude who plays like the weak boyfriend in, in the Hunger Games. Oh, <laughs> like, is it? These people were like small they at one point. They actually grow up. Wow. 2005, yes. It's <laughs> remarkable. Uh, so the story is sort of similar to like kind of, and he's a name that I don't like mentioning, but like Woody Allen type romance, mm. the, the nebbish who's trying to figure out love and what it all means and whatever. Yeah. But he's 11 years old, so why is he mm. taking it so seriously? At the same time, there's this parallel between his parents having this divorce and they're both mm. loving and caring of him mm. but he's trying to make sense of how am I feeling this pain between my mom and dad splitting and me at the same time finding the summer romance feeling like my world has been swept up by this other 11 year old girl mm. is, does uh, it not make you feel nostalgic like take cute. you back well, to the time where you I, I think I'm a, I'm a bit of an umami compared to you so I, I remember my girl with Macaulay Culkin mm. 
Mm. Uh, no, you don't at all. Bees? You, don't. you don't hate bees with a passion? Uh, yeah, it takes a person of a certain age to know that my oh, girl wow. set the bar. Uh, but actually, what, <laughs> uh, no, 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 that's a compliment. Don't worry. Okay. That, that you remember Little Manhattan, <laughs> that you were a child in 2005 is remarkable. I okay, JP, speaking. you know what? I'm going to stop you there because the insults just keep coming. Okay? I'm insulting myself. <laughs> I'm saying you're... you're Okay, I'm, I'm I swear young. it's going to turn into an insult again somehow. It's going to be say. manipulated again. <laughs> uh, little Manhattan, that is uh, SABC 3 at, uh, help me. <laughs> Saturday at 9.30, okay? So yes. we have a movie tonight on SABC 3 at 9.30, Defret, and tomorrow Little Manhattan on SABC 3 at 9.30. Okay. Yes, I am confirming those details uh, I right trust now. the younger person with the iPad. I use a charcoal stick. And Buzz I, off. I was, seriously, I carve things <laughs> into wood. <laughs> oh, we're to JP Sebastian. Listen, he's not going anywhere. He's going to be getting us into other movies to look forward to on the SABC this coming weekend. But right now, let's take a quick breather because the feel goodness continues shortly after this. You even heard of a DVD? I do I know you can make my day. It's a Friday, it's your Feel Good Breakfast Show and it is that time of the morning yes. where we get to wish you a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, have a hot, hot, happy birthday. Happy birthday, a very happy birthday to you. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, I love the sound of that. I love the sound of that. You just have to dance and do the hop when you listen to it. Listen, it's the 15th of January, so if you are celebrating your birthday, you're celebrating it with someone special. I'm pretty sure you've heard him on radio or you've seen him on television screens. He's a former presenter on Hectic 99. I'm talking about Usa Mora. <laughs> Samora! Samora! Happy birthday! Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I mean, it's not every day that you get woken up with a birthday call from the best breakfast show in the land. I love that so much. Look at you. You are a former Hectic 99 presenter. You are on RGB. You are on radio. What do you not do? Um, what do I not do? I do not pack shelves at a supermarket. But everything else, definitely good to go. <laughs> we are so happy that we actually get to call you this morning and wish mm. you a happy birthday. What are the plans for the day? Where's our invite? Send us the, the, the Zoom link. If yes, it's going to be a virtual party because we're going to be part of the night today. <laughs> 
Well, you know, I was really hoping that the president was going to de Delaban to on this day. <laughs> but, you know, I guess that plans had to change. Um, probably just going to be here at home and uh, just spend some time with, with you know, some friends. Uh, very few of them. Mm. Uh, I still don't quite know what the full plan is for the day, to be honest with you. We're kind of going to see as we go. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think just more than anything, it's just being appreciative of this new year mm -hmm. that I find myself in. A lot of people did not get to see 2021, and I am so grateful to be here, and I'm so grateful for the, the, for the air in my lungs, actually. Mm. I love that so much. You are dearly loved. I'm a huge fan. Not my, by myself, I love I love the both of you. <laughs> Samara, we need to know what your plans are for this year. Firstly, Unangapi <laughs> Wow, that's a big one. I know. Yeah. And then what are your plans for this coming year? Pandemics is one of your guys. Yeah. Like, is that a possibility? Mm. Um, I don't necessarily have any plans, I would say, but I do have hopes. Mm. Um, I am trusting, I'm trusting God, I'm trusting the universe mm. for something new, as Lady May and Greenleaf said in the episode I was watching yesterday. Um, so, definitely something new. I think it's time for refreshment i think mm. it's time for you know rejuvenation um i definitely would like a new tv show hey. so we are we are hoping for that um but i also want to find myself in the commercial space in terms of radio so mm. we're, we're, we're trying to put those into motion as well mm. um so yeah do something more personality based in terms of radio because i've been doing current affairs for mm. the past four or five years or so so yeah samora my friend, you mm. are amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time out this morning to share your little birthday with Yo. us. We hope that you have an amazing day with your friends. Remember to stay safe, mask up, yes. sanitize. <laughs> but maybe next year we will join you and yes. we'll celebrate all the festiv festivities with you. So happy birthday, my friend. Thank you so much, guys. And you enjoy your day, okay? We will, well. on your behalf as well, Samora, man, Wangesi, he's such an incredible, incredible artist. Listen, we're going to continue with the feel goodness here on the show, but by uplifting the spirits with some beautiful sounds. Yes, indeed. She may have studied drama and she is quite dramatic. Um, <laughs> but she's also a choir singer at heart and has the most enchanting voice. He may be a language specialist, but this multi-instrumentalist shows us his love and passion for music on the guitar and violin after getting to know this Afro-acoustic pop duo sensation <laughs> that is uh, Devonisha Schwartz and Vulcan Kalitz. We can now hardly wait for their performance this morning. Here yeah, they are right now with Rumi Sabrif. Die rivier stil reeds vlamme by die skemers kulderei Vul jou longe vir die vloed en avondsang Die okwango vloed dier my Wangu flu
Maak ik vier te spas voor die laatste keer. Die ook van go vloei dier mij. Die ook van go vloei dier jou. En bewaar hier die kant. Kalm, kalm, stroom af. En hier die op de zaal ons weer een naadloos kruis. Ik zal denk aan jou in Roemische brief. Zelfs mijn fouten verdwijnen onder die zand. Met de tijd de over diamant. En ons zal kopen dan per Thank you so much, Divinisha and Vulcan. They will be sticking around for another two performances this morning. So you definitely want to stay exactly where you are right now, though it's just gone to the top of the hour. Time to get back into our national news. Here in South Africa, Stats SA has committed to doing everything in its power to ensure that the 2021 census is carried out in the coming months. This as COVID-19 infections continue to escalate in South Africa and, of course, elsewhere in the world. Statistician General Risenga Maluleke yesterday said that their plans would be adjusted as and when required based on the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The once in a decade count is the most important measure of the country's human capital, gathering social and economic information. Staying in South Africa, ESCOM says there is a high risk of load shedding until at least September this year. Earlier, the embattled power utility announced the commencement of stage two rotational outages that would continue up until Sunday evening. This is due to the loss of generation capacity overnight. The Power Utility spokesperson Sikunati Machancha said units at the Kusile power station tripped, as well as a unit each at the Creel and Duva stations. And he said the system thus remains unpredictable and the stage of load shedding may change at short notice. On the international front, archaeologists have discovered the world's oldest known animal cave painting in Indonesia, that of a wild pig believed to be drawn 45 and a half thousand years ago. Painted using dark red okra pigment, the life-size picture of the Sulawesi warty pig appears to be part of a narrative scene and this provides the earliest evidence of human settlement in the region. The painting may be the world's oldest art depicting a figure but is not the oldest man-made art. Of course in South Africa a hashtag like doodle created 73,000 years ago is, to believe, is believed to be the oldest known drawing by humans. And staying on the continent at least Ugandans wearing face masks to brave the pandemic voted yesterday as police and soldiers patrolled the streets of the capital Kampala during a presidential election, pitting longtime leader Yoweri Museveni against popular singer Bobby Wine. Internet access was cut off and there were fears of unrest as security forces tried to stop supporters of Wine from monitoring polling stations. Some 18 million voters were registered for the presidential and parliamentary vote and those results are expected tomorrow. And now news of Cape Cormorant chicks rescue from Robben Island. In a joint effort by the National Sea Rescue Institute, the Southern African Foundation for the Conservation of Coastal Birds, or SANCOB, the Two Oceans Aquarium and other stakeholders, some 1,700 endangered Cape Cormorant chicks were rescued on Tuesday from Robben Island after being abandoned by their parents. They were transported to SANCOB Seabird Hospital to be weighed, hydrated and stabilised and will remain there for at least two to three months before being re-released. There were an estimated three thousand breeding pairs of Cape Cormorants on the island. Sancom researchers, uh, they suspect that the abandonment was due to a lack of food. Dr. Kata Ludnia, Sancom's research manager, said Cape Cormorants feed mainly on anchovy and to a smaller extent on sardines and these small 
pelagic fish species are presently at very low levels. She said there are dramatic population declines in all seabird species, including the African penguin and the Cape gannets that rely on these fish species. And I think maybe a sign of the times when it comes to ocean conservation. I'll let you ponder that now as we get into our sporting headlines. Lots of football this weekend. There'll be a battle for top spot in the Premier Soccer League when defending champions Mamelodi Sundowns face Supersport United at the Lucas Moripe Stadium tomorrow. Sundowns and Supersport sit in first and second place on the standings with only two points separating the teams. And other big fixtures over the weekend, Cape Town City host a resurgent Kaiser Chiefs. Baraka FC take on surprise outfit this season Swallows and then Black Leopards will be up against Orlando Pirates. Staying with football, Arsenal and Crystal Palace, they played out to a goalless draw at the Emirates Stadium in a forgettable English Premier League encounter late last night. Both teams walking away with that single point as Palace ended Arsenal's four-game winning streak. And looking ahead to the weekend, it doesn't get much bigger than this. All eyes will be on Anfield when arch rivals Liverpool take on Manchester United on Sunday. Kickoff for that encounter um, and the big one over the weekend is at 6.30 p.m. on Sunday, as I said. Then on to tennis, former world number one Andy Murray might miss the Australian open that after testing positive for the coronavirus the 33 year old britain is however said to be in good health while he remains in quarantine at his home in london the australian open will start on the 8th of february at melbourne park that's three weeks later than usual obviously due to the covid 19 pandemic that's where we leave our sport now let's take another look at the weather Thank you so much, G, for the news and sports update. It's time for us to get into your stunning sunrise pictures and the weather forecast for this Friday. Starting off with one of our regular sunrise contributors, Louise G. Sherry from Alberton, has sent us a picture of her area showing off the many colors of the skyline. Expect a 40% chance of thunder showers in your area with a high of 25 degrees. Sifundo Hero Gaza has submitted this view of the Valley of a Thousand Hills located in in KZN, expect a maximum of 32 degrees and 40% chance of thunder showers in the afternoon. Now, if you would like to be a part of our sunrise segment, head over to our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. It's simple. Capture a sunrise in your part of the country, share it on our page, and we will show it live on the show. Now we get into great environmental news. It's a huge victory for polar bears, conservationists say. This after the United States Court of Appeals ruled on an offshore oil drilling project in the Arctic. Bastions of unusually rich biodiversity in the waters of the Beaufort Sea will now remain undisturbed after the project's defeat. After the Trump administration gave approval for the project in 2018 to Hillcorp, Alaska, it was immediately slapped with lawsuits decrying the permit. Following the decision, the Center for Biological Diversity said the news was a major victory for Alaska's imperiled polar bears, which are already struggling with melting ice as a result of earth warming. Now we bring it back with the temperatures for the rest of our country. Thunder showers are expected in most parts of the country and also wet conditions are forecast for this Friday. Epologuane do expect a low of 20 degrees, reaching a high of 28 degrees and 41% thunder showers forecast for this Friday. Bombela is a partly cloudy day with a low of 22, reaching a high of 31. Also be on the lookout for rain. Pretoria, 17, 28 are your temperatures. It's going to be a wet day for you in your part of the country. Josie Mabonek, Johannesburg starts off the morning with a low of 15, reaching an afternoon high of 26 degrees. Also, thunder showers forecast at 41% chance of rain. Mahi Gang, 1930, 46% chance of rain expected. Glegstorp, your temperatures range from 19, reaching a high of 28 degrees, but also thunder showers are expected in the afternoon with 52% chance of rain. Kimberley, it's a wet day, 1826. Bloemfontein, also do expect some rain this uh, Friday with a low of 17, reaching a high of 24 degrees. Richards Bay, you kick off this Friday with a low of 25, reaching a high of 33 degrees. 
only 9% forecast for rain this Friday. Peter Maritzburg, 21, reaching a high of 32 degrees. Do not leave your umbrellas behind. Durban, your temperatures range from 25, reaching a high of 32 degrees. Also do expect some drizzle um, throughout the day. In Tad, a thunder showers forecast at 54%. East London, you start off this weekend with a low of 20 degrees, reaching a high of 30, 56% chance of rain. At Cradock, 16, 29 with rain um, forecast as well. In Port Elizabeth, it's going to be a sunny day, but with rain at 66% chance of rain. George, 17, 26. And Cape Town, the mother city, currently raining. 65% chance of rain is forecast this Friday morning. And uh, Vusta starts off the day with a low of 13, reaching a high of 31. Sutherland, it's a clear day with sunny, with the sun out to play. Uh, eight is your low, reaching a high of 27. And Uppington, thunder showers expected to cool you off with a low of 17, reaching a high of 27. Now we'll have another look at the top of the hour, eight o'clock, but thank you for your sunrise pictures. Uh, remember, whichever part of the country you're in, whatever the weather, make sure to have yourselves a feel good kind of day. Thank you so much, Chris Lee, for that weather update. But yes, you are in for a treat here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show because Laura Naidu, our skin specialist, is here to teach us all about restoring our natural glow after the holidays and spending so much time in the sun. So you don't want to go anywhere. We'll see you in a moment. Here's to you. Can't work from home workers. Bo Terminator. Because every meeting key, I'll be back. The mask for getting shoppers. <laughs> and you, who go the extra mile instead of keeping just 1.5 meters. To you who opened your doors again, we take our hats off. Nina, who kept us moving 100%. And of course, the no in general dealers. You might not be essential workers, but you too played an essential role in keeping Mzansi working. And that's why we're giving you a chance to win your share of 5 million rand. Join Nedbank today.
Welcome back, everybody. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on SABC3. It is time to take care of that one important thing, our skin. Now, as we enter a new year, it's so important to nourish your post-holiday skin in order to achieve that flawless look that we all need, that we all desire. And of course, Laura Naidu, W Beauty's technical manager from Woolworths, is in studio this morning to tell us exactly how we can restore our skin's natural glow with their selection of day and night creams. Laura, happy 2021. Thank Thank you. So good Morning. to have you. Glad to be here. I'm very excited about this conversation because the first time I've ever heard about a day cream and a night cream. Let's start at the beginning. Why is it so important to implement this into your skin routine? Okay, so in, in our skin, so during the day our skin normally goes into like protective mode. So you want to protect against the harmful environmental stresses of pollution, dust, the UVA and the UVB radiation. And at night we go into the new mode. So our skin uh, optimally regenerates at night. So beauty sleep termed is, happens mostly at night where your cell is repairing itself. Um, so it's, it's very important to have a day cream and an eye cream. And there is a difference between a day cream and an eye cream. So day cream is normally more lightweight and a night cream more intense, more rich, more luxurious, with a lot more actives of hydrating and conditioning. So during the night, normally your skin doesn't uh, compete with environmental stresses. So it's most receptive to creams. And the night cream is normally packed with lots more goodies. So at night, um, the skin absorbs more of it. So I think it's very ideal that you use both. And, they, and it's both for different reasons. So during the day, you need the SPF. At night, you don't. Yeah. Um, so that is why it's good to use both. So good thing to note now, do not swap out any of these products. Do not use night during the day, day during the night. No, it's ideal to use it because it has specific needs for the day. Good to know. But there's obviously a lot of creams within the W Beauty range. Yes. What would you recommend for a dry skin type? So for dry skin type in W Beauty, we have the Replenish range. So if you're older and mature, I would recommend the Replenish range. So Replenish range is packed with hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid penetrates deep in the skin, locks in the moisture, retains, leaving your skin looking very soft, uh, supple, smooth, finds out the um, fine lines and, 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 and rolls out the wrinkles. So ideal for mature skin. If you have younger skin then I would recommend the hydrate range and the hydrate range packed with hydrating ingredients hyaluronic acid being the main being the main active and this is a gel like uh, moisturizer so it's ideal for the younger skin also for the summer season um, the hydrate range as well for the younger skin Good, good to know that. But if you have oily skin or combination skin, what uh, what of the products would you also recommend to use? Okay, so in W Beauty, um, obviously you want to use an oil con oil control moisturizer. In W Beauty, we've got a mattifying day and night lotion. So this is the one cream that you can use interchangeably at night and day. So we don't want to overload your skin, mm -hmm. so that's why it's suited for both. Um, I would also suggest if you have very oily skin that you want to use a mask, a face mask at least twice a week. So you could use an oil control mask. Um, or a clay mask and also W Beauty has launched a clarifying, a mild clarifying toner and a, mild, a lotion and a mild clarifying cleanser which is going to aid in oil control. So it's nice to team up and create a regime of oil control giving us so much tips mm -hmm. uh, to get our skin glowing for 2021. But of course, we all came back from holiday now, post holiday season, some of us have been sunburned, spent so many hours baking in the sun. Do you have any tips and hacks for us to restore that natural glow post holiday? Definitely, so a tip I can give you is that uh, when washing your face post sunburns, so if you've been out in the sun a lot and your skin is now, um, uh, affected. So you would ideally want to wash your skin with cool warm water. So don't ever wash with hot water. It's always necessary to pat your face dry. So pat your skin dry instead of wiping down. So you leave a little moisture on your skin okay. and immediately, immediately after shower is lather on your moisturizer. So you want to use your moisturizer to lock in the moisture after sunburn because it's dehydrated. You want to get as much moisture in okay. and also look for products that have soothing agents. So in W Beauty, we have the gentle soothing range, uh, which has some safe. And then we also have a soothing face mask which has all allantoin and those agents are known to um, provide extra relief and soothe your skin so look for the the vitamins and look for the allantoins and look for the soothing ingredients that will help you as well Laura, we trust you because this is the glow up that we need for 2021. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course, you too can fulfill your specific skincare needs with the right day and night creams and treatments. You can shop the entire W Beauty range exclusively at Woolworths in-store, online or on the Woolworths app. 
And now for some Avo toast. Or is it Avo toast? Are you dancing because we're about to start cooking and eating? Yes, because we're right? talking all dance? things health. And we have. This we've, had a, we've had a wonderful little yeah. health discussion explaining all sorts of things about glycemic index mm. and why it's so important for us to move away from the complex carbs like a bread mm. and then maybe move to something else that is ingenious. I've never had Avo toast like this before. We are never. using. The sweet, sweet potato. potato to replace the bread because usually obviously toast you expect to make toast with bread mm -hmm. but this morning we decided to go with sweet potato but why um well, it sits quite low on the glycemic index so mm. it's a really good kind of energy driven carb yes but it's a good one for your body it's whole state it's going to have great mineral and vitamin content as well mm. and it's novel it's quite interesting and i think once you've kind of crisped up where we're going to use our, our trial grill pan mm. it's going to be nice a, a beautiful sounding board for our wonderful guacamole. So I'm going to get us started. We're using our Clover Classic 40% fat spread because we wanted to, to toast nicely. We wanted to get a nice brown finish. So we've literally, we've sliced our sweet potato into a nice big um, cross section. You can do them as big or small. We obviously mm. got worked with a whopper sized potato Huge for this one. Fine. Yeah, which is cool. And what you're going to do is you're going to butter both sides, okay? You don't have to use a huge mm. amount, just a coating so that you can brown it on on either side. I mean, if you don't have a griddle pan, fear not. Um, I mean, you could probably even do this under the grill in your in your oven. I was about I to suppose. say, actually, that um, you can place it there. And I think the nice thing about this toast, or this snack, rather, is that it's also very quick and easy oh, to for make. for sure. Um, and the, the sweet potato, because you, you don't cut it too thick, because mm. you need it to kind of cook through, if you can. Um, Oh, I see. That. I see what you mean. The thick you, of the yeah, slice. Yeah, it's, it's going to just take too long uh, to cook. So, mm. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, uh, roast them even off in the oven. It gets a beautiful um, flavor, and it does go quite sweet, hence the name, sweet potato. I love um, sweet potatoes. I love yeah, sweet potatoes I love it, mashed. Yeah. I love sweet potatoes baked. I love sweet potatoes all round, but really this nice. is the first mm. time having it like this. This is so clever. I'm gonna, and don't do it too hot because you want it to kind of cook through, and, mm. and it's nice when it's got those kind of burnt griddle pans. Dad. What's lovely is if you take a whole sweet potato and mm. literally char it on the fire, you can even put it in the cold so that that skin chars, but mm. the inside then becomes almost like, like pudding. It mm. gets so soft and mushy, and it's absolutely delicious. <gasps> so while I let these guys finish off here, I'm going to let you hey. construct our beautiful Avo toast, yes. if you will. So we've got a finished um, piece of our We do. So this is the thing. final product of the toasted sweet potato. I'm just going to bring them this side. Here we have very simple ingredients. What you would use to make a normal guacamole. Yeah. We have um, coriander over here for garnishing. We have a slice of lemon, salt and pepper to taste. And of course... Guacamole, guacamole, okay. We have put in a little bit of lemon just to prevent it from oxidizing and turning brown. It's very simple what we're going to so do. I'm so glad you said that because it's, it's, it's so important to do that. Even if you're mm. going to use half an hour when you put the other half back in the fridge in a little tub or whatever, just give it a yes. little spray of lemon just to prevent it from going brown because that often you'll waste end up wasting an entire half an hour oh, because it's done that. I don't like that. And the sad part is that I only learned this trick sometime last year, late last year. Uh, how many have you Evos, sacrificed? It's either I would eat the whole Evo to like right now yeah. on the spot or I would just have to unfortunately say goodbye ah, to it after a few days. Now, now you feel pressured into eating the whole Evo every exactly, time. You don't waste it. Exactly. So now that we have layered out our guacamole, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon zest Beautiful. on top of it. And some... For me, the black Salt. pepper is almost the most important additive here. Yeah, I mm. love that, that flavor combo of the mm. avo, and then you get the, the kind of lemmy vibe counter punched yeah. with the, the black pepper. So I'm oh. like really not shy with my, my with black With your pepper. pepper, really? I'm and actually going to do it your way. And then you take the, the coriander and you throw it away. <laughs> is that the best way That's to eat coriander? That is, it's the best way. You no, just... I'm just going to garnish it no, with no, you, I know, on the side. I, I know okay? a lot of people absolutely love coriander, so mm. I don't want to be a corianderist and deny people that. Um, but it is, it's quite nice to have something fresh. I mean, you could do something like a, 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 a basil or some, any kind of fresh herb there, but give it a, give it a taste, I'm man. You've give worked it a so taste. hard to create it. Actually, I'm going to put a yours. little bit of coriander. Do it. Should I? Do it. I don't, want to, I don't want to deter you. Okay, that griddle pan is coming along nicely. What's it like with the sweet potato? I'm not lying. 
<laughs> this is delicious. G, hey, would you have lied to bomb. me if it wasn't? Would you look like you would have lied to me? Can I, I probably would have been like. Mm, can I be the first to say that Kutle is <laughs> incapable of taking a TV bite? Okay, so if she's going to eat it, she's going to eat it, man, and she's going to let you know. Um, I'm very proud of this little creation. Absolutely ingenious. You can find the recipe on expressoshow.com. It's a healthy way to kickstart your day or have a snack any time of the day. Mm. So we've had classic fashion from Timby. Classic cars, thanks Chad. And we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? <gasps> classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Can hear us. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show, Expresso here on SABC3. Now this part of the show is going to be really exciting. <laughs> 28-year-old teaching intern, rugby coach and content creator Kuhle Songosi has taken the social media streets by storm Woo! with his hilarious videos. Having played professional rugby for four years with the EP Kings, he has incorporated that aspect into his work. As we all know that uh, art imitates life, that's exactly what he does with his videos as uh, his daily videos consist of sports analysis to everyday life situations which all South Africans can relate to. But if you are confused and not aware of what I'm talking about, I think it's best if you see it yourself. What you gonna do? Um, easy choice, you're gonna wash the dishes. Oh, what? I'm looking at the conditions, um, it's screaming out for me to wash. I mean, there's there's three pots, there's uh, about four plates, a couple of Tupperware, and just the utensils. I mean, uh, the easy thing is, cause obviously you wash the lunchtime dishes just before, so we've we cleared up most of the room, so uh, it just makes it, it just makes it easy to wash. And obviously, when you um when you're drying the dishes, you got to pack away as well. I mean, that's unnecessary admin. I don't want to, I don't want to go down that route. I'll just go out the easy way out and yeah, wash. Any team changes? Uh, a couple of changes to the team. Um, we've, we've got a new pot scraper, a new sponge coming in today. I think it's uh, just for just for rotation and for, and for fresh legs. I think um, the last couple of washes, as you know, have not been up to standards. Um, and that's just down due to just time on the legs. I think um, it, was, it was about time we got a new pot scraper and a, and a new sponge in and excited for them. So it's, always, it's always exciting getting your first cap. So yeah, I think it'll go well. And obviously, yeah, I've changed playlists. I think I've had the same playlist uh, the last couple of washes. And I'm feeling a bit stagnant. I think um, if you're feeling stagnant, it's time for changes. So I, I'm going to go with the shuffle approach. Just, um, just put on shuffle and then um, let's see where the music takes me. I think, um, yeah, that's the approach for today. Uh, obviously, we're excited. Um, just looking to bounce back from the last couple. Christmas, obviously, the, the dishes we watched at Christmas wasn't great. So, yeah, I'm hoping to bounce back today. <laughs> oh, I am man. just on Beat the floor. Beat that this morning, man. Coming to you live from Portable, uh, Portable please welcome <laughs> Kudle. Thunkosi Kudle. Good morning, my brother. How are you doing, buddy? Ooh. 
Good morning, guys. Thank you. Th thank you so much for having me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's a bit different watching the videos from this side. Yeah. <laughs> I used to watching myself. So. Did, you, did you laugh? Yeah, Do you laugh you so at much, yourself? <laughs> Do you find yourself funny is what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, the problem is that it, it, it's, so, it's so hard to keep a straight face. That's why there's normally about 10 takes to get each video right. I mean, it, the hard, yeah, because I know I'm pretty much talking nonsense. So mm. to keep a straight face the whole throughout, is, that's, that's the hardest part. So it's, <laughs> it's different watching myself on the screen. And yeah, no, it's, it's good fun. I, I've got to ask this question. So yes. do you have to do a pre-match interview to decide every one of your everyday decisions? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Just it, it's pretty much just to make it uh, just to make it fair, you know. Um, just to make sure that I, I, I weigh up all the pros and cons for every decision I make today. So yeah. So if I have the interview, then I know <laughs> just sets the day off in a good tone. Kusha, <laughs> we want to know you a little better as a person. Where does your love for sports come hmm. from? Uh, probably from my from my dad, uh, my mom. I think they introduced us, introduced me to sports since I, since I can remember. Um, so since I was probably so I started walking, I was always watching sports, always involved in sports. Um, then all the way through school, I mean, they've always encouraged me to play sports. Every all sports, watch all sports, gave me all the books and magazines. So my love for sports just grew from there. And I think obviously the older I got, the more I enjoyed playing. And then obviously I fell in love with rugby. And then that was the one that gave me the most success. But yeah, I think. My love for sports just comes from, and it's also, it's just so much fun and just meeting. I've met so many wonderful friends, so many opportunities have come through sports and so many, yeah, so many lifelong memories. And I think, yeah, I mean, sports is probably my, my biggest love. So when, when did this party trick, because it's like the best party <laughs> trick ever, turn into something a bit more solid? And when did you decide to start kind of creating content? Because you are now a successful content creator. Yes. When did it become like a real um, aim and drive? Uh, well, I started making the videos for fun. Um, I, tr That's just I started making them when I, was, just time when, the when I was at home with, with, with the hostel kids. So uh, there was no, there was no serious approach to it. And I think only the last, I'll say the last year, it's become serious. Um, I've, I've spent more time focusing on it. And yeah, it's just been, it's been crazy to see how much, it, how much it's grown. And yeah, to be now, be called a content creator is a bit, is a bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now your videos garner up to 200,000 views, okay? Why do you think that a lot of people enjoy your content so much? I think it's, um, it's, I think it's because it's relatable. I think we all have to wash dishes. We've yeah. all been through Christmas lunch. <laughs> we've all, we've, we've all struggled to get, to, to, to get some fitness during January. So I think that's, that's, that's the main thing. I try to make them authentic and, and just apply to everyday life, you know? So it doesn't matter if, whether you like sports or whether you, or whether you don't like sports. I mean, like we've all faced a situation where you gotta wash dishes and you gotta fight with siblings on whether who's gonna wash, who's gonna dry the dishes. So. I think that's the biggest thing, just, just being able to make it relatable. I think that's why people have really enjoyed the videos. All right, so right now I'm going to ask you to put your cookies uh, captain's cap on right now for a bit of a, a pre-game interview, if you will. Um, you've luckily just okay. won the coin toss, and you've now got to decide whether to watch Espresso or not to watch <laughs> Espresso. Uh, go for it. Uh, Graham, I think uh, we choose to watch Espresso. Um, obviously, we're looking at the conditions. Everything we do is based on conditions. Um, uh, mm. the, the, the curve has been pushed back a couple of hours back to 5 a.m., so it gives us time to you know, wake up in the morning, go for a quick run um, while the neighbors are still sleeping. And then, um, obviously, we come back, have a cup of coffee, quick shower. And then, all in all, it just gives us more time to, to watch Espresso. I think at, at the end of the day, we're just looking for situations where we, 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 we have more time, we can, we can relax, and we, we don't have to rush and watch Espresso. So now, with the curvy being at 5 a.m., you can relax, have a good cup of coffee, and uh, get the day started with some espresso. So, yeah, all in all, it's a no-brainer, Graham. We're definitely going to tune in for espresso. Well, well, good luck with that. <laughs> I hope it works out for you and the team. Fantastic decision. I think everyone up in the comms box certainly agrees with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. I love that. I love that so much. I mean, I don't think anyone can get enough. Everyone in the studio is literally in stitches right now. But one thing that we are enough of, though, is this. All right, and the captain here, yeah? Lurchin is back, and what are your thoughts? Yeah, tough day. Um, obviously, the, the first thing was first, I uh, woke up this morning thinking it was Friday, and then it was Thursday, so, yeah, that set me back, and I thought, you know what, at least the day can only get better from there. Jeez, I lied. Yeah, load shading is tough. Um, obviously, now, this is about the 945th case of load shading we've gotten, um, so it's never, you, you think we prepared for it, but yeah, it's never easy to take, um, but yeah, all in all, bad day for, bad day for the country, but good day for candle makers. How does it feel in January? Um, it, it changes a lot of things. You know what? 
I've, I've stated many times in other interviews that January is about four years long and we're just about to ne- negotiate the, the first years of January and we're, and we're doing well. I thought as a country we're doing very well. I thought we were back at work, we were training, we were eating well, we were looking very good. I think um, yeah, we, we were able to negotiate um, we'll negotiate January properly, properly and I think, um, yeah, but then also a bit of complacency started slipping in. We, we got too relaxed. Uh, we, we sort of, uh, we sort of, we sort of forgot what January is, and yeah, and I think our load shedding just put us back on the put us back on the back foot, and yeah, yeah, it's a change of January. The last the next two years of January is going to be very extremely long, but yeah, what can we do? So, what are the challenges? Oh, load shedding brings a lot of challenges. Um, obviously, I mean, not, not having power. I mean, product, productivity at work, obviously, obviously goes down. But I think the biggest challenge at the moment is. Um, it's the 14th of January, so we're about a month away now from Valentine's Day. I think um, this is about the time where we start laying down the foundation. And we sometimes, you know, you'd be sliding in the DMs and you'd be at work because you've got a Wi-Fi. So you're sending the memes, you're sending gifts. And, um, yeah, and with load shedding, it's two hours that that you lose. I mean, obviously, like, we don't have data and um, we're not, we haven't been paid yet. So we can't oh, Cox, we love you, man. We absolutely love you. Uh, buddy, thank you so much for putting a smile uh, on our so face. Much. I'm going to ask you to stick around, not to change yeah. that shirt. And um, we're going to get into <laughs> some actual sports a little bit later. Yes. Cannot wait to have you for that. But thanks for, yeah, for bringing a bit of joy to this country, brother. <laughs> thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Awesome, man. I'm smiling from here. I know. Here. Literally round my head, man. Happy. Cookie Cookie, this is the content that we signed up for. You have been keeping us entertained the entire show long, but we are so excited to have you back a little later on with Graham to talk all about the sports. But we are right back now into the music block where Devonisha and Adam Wilkin is ready to perform Dream State. We're back with the vocalist Devonisha Swartz and multi instrumentalist Wilkin Khalid, the Afro acoustic pop duo from the Mother City. They boast a number of awards and accolades between the two of them, and we can't wait to see them rack up the awards for the music. Well, they are going to be performing the song Dream State. Please welcome back Devanisha and Wilkin. The stage is yours. <laughs>
everybody. You, this is live. This is real. And this dynamic duo is still going to be keeping it locked right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you after this. Well, time to get into some movie news. So we've brought in our movie all-rounder, J.P. Sebastian, here to talk about what's a buzz in Tinseltown, if you will. Let's kick it off with Wonder Woman 1984, which looks cool, okay? Because uh, I love comic books. That, 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 that was a smirk. It's if got it, mixed reviews. Okay, it's got mixed reviews. But <laughs> I, I just, know I'll love it. By the way, from I'm, week to week in the United States, dropped 67% in. <laughs> like, <laughs> usually movies do 30 to 40% week to week, so that's been not But it's uh, been at strange times, unprecedented times, to use the word of the year last year oh. um, but uh, Oscar for best picture consideration <laughs> Huh? Seriously, uh, Wonder Brothers Pictures are putting forward Wonder Woman uh, for all categories uh, for consideration. That doesn't mean it's nominated, <laughs> and, and the chances of it being nominated, uh, bless your soul, Warner Brothers. It says, I love your, your spirit, your imagination. About as high as but, Wonder Woman dropping into a mall near you. Uh, yeah. I mean, the whole movie was about people like making these ridiculous wishes come true, so I think they ran away with the idea, but good for them. <laughs> we thought they had so much belief in this thing. But look, well, I'm sure it was like okay and it was fun. Seriously? Do you think this has any chance for Best Picture at this year's Oscars? Um, mm -hmm. Probably not, because there have been some gems. Talk me through Ray Fisher's cut of DC Universe's The Flash. Okay, so speaking of Warner Brothers again. Wow, what? what Sorry, we just jump to the next news story real quick there, just because yeah. like, my shock was enough for that. So you might see Wonder Woman at the Oscars, who knows? However, Ray Fisher, uh, he's known as Cyborg in the Justice League movies. Yeah. Movie, at this point. Uh, the next one is supposed to be The Flash, which is, surprise, surprise, about The Flash. Flash. And has just been axed uh, from the role of Cyborg. The, the character as well will not be appearing in the movie Flash, in The Flash. Uh, and the, the reasoning is a bit gross as far as I'm concerned. Like, uh, he's been, in mo for months now, been at loggerheads with Warner Brothers because of his claims and the claims of many others who worked on the movie that when Joss Whedon stepped in for Zack Snyder yeah. uh, on the making of Justice League, uh, he reported claims of abuse, he reported claims of racism on set, uh. and he just was not taken seriously enough. A surprise, surprise, like during the time that John Boyega was being lifted up and, and being praised by a lot of people for, for raising his voice, 
voice. Ray Fisher, on the other hand, has just been silenced. Been squashed. By, yeah, uh, Cyborg's been shut down, rebooted. Um, so, uh, yeah, the Warner Brothers, uh, rather than, you know, sitting down at a table with him and saying, what So it's not even a recast, he's been just taken out. Cyborg is no longer part of the DC universe. Yes, <laughs> like the character dies with the actor. And, and uh, so, look, while we're still going to learn what's what and, and how decisions were made and whatever, it seems a bit harsh. Like, at least first have the powwow go, dude, what, what is your story? Well, I have the conversation because it needs to be had. Yes, especially about racism. Yeah. When everyone was putting BLM in their statuses and all these corporations were like, oh, we support our yeah, black artists. It's and so on fleek right now, yeah. Okay, well, hopefully that will evolve over this coming year. Darren Aronofsky, unbelievable black swan, one of the best in the business at the moment, um, with Brendan Fraser, who has kind of changed his narrative. What a different guy to the one that we saw in Curious George or whatever he was. Or George, George of the Jungle. Jungle. How dare Jungle. you? But, but he's got, got his top and he's now in <laughs> The Whale. Uh, he will be starring in with Darren Aronofsky. That is, uh, by the way, from The Mummy there with Rachel Weisz. Uh, and Darren Aronofsky on the left with uh, Rachel Weisz and Hugh Jackman from The Fountain. The Whale is going to be at A24, which is this wonderful studio that I keep uh, gushing over over, that made Moonlight, it made Ex Machina, which I'll talk about in a bit, in fact. Yeah, and a lot that. of our, the, the huge, like, niche art movies. So good for Brendan Fraser. I'm glad that he's back on the scene. He's been, like, off the radar for the longest time because of some, like, he also had injustice done to him in Hollywood. That's a story for another day, however. Uh, but I'm really happy to see his face again. We love him from the mummy. We love him from George of the Jungle, obviously. Do you love him from Encino Man? You must. Yeah, no. Uh, he's, but he's doing something very part serious. Part of our childhood, yeah. but he's, he's a fantastic actor. Alex Garland returns to A24 again. Speaking of Ex Machina, so this is the director of of Ex Machina. He previously did Annihilation with Natalie Portman, which he does these really trippy movies. And now, fortunately, he's coming out with another one, which will also have some sort of sci-fi horror bent to it. Uh, cast in that is Jesse Buckley, who you've seen there on the right. Uh, that is uh, Alex Garland with the beautiful Alicia Vikander from Ex Machina, which was so amazing. He's such an interesting director and an interesting writer. He's doing stuff that sci-fi uh, is maybe not ready for just yet. And that's why it's still quite niche. But his new one coming out called Men, simply where Jesse Buckley goes on a solo vacation off into the mountains and deals with sci-fi horror horror type situation. A lot of the story's under wraps for now, but we'll find out as more... Uh, I think produce. maybe what he, he's able to do is capture what, what sci-fi movies lose when they get the Hollywood treatment mm -hmm. from what they were in the book form. Uh, yeah, like just, uh, especially like just the opaqueness. Yeah. Like the, uh, the, the, the non-transparency of life. <laughs> like when things used to be like 2001, A Space Odyssey, and sometimes the unknown just stays the unknown. So hopefully this will be as sort of trippy as stuff like Ex Machina and Annihilation. Really excited to see Jesse Buckley, who is in that famous streaming service that you all know and love uh, from <laughs> I'm Thinking of Ending Things. She did fantastically in that and will be great in this, no doubt, too. No doubt as well. There we no, uh, go. That's what's happening in Tinseltown right now. You can make up your own decisions, though. They are just his. So many movies to be looking forward to this coming weekend on the SABC. Thank you so much, JP. But right now, it's time to cross over to Johannesburg where Tabisa is standing by with Sumizi, everybody. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's inspiration everywhere you look. You've got oxtail here, uh, some ox livers, or oh, gizzards. Jeez, where do you even look? Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my home. No, I kid, not my home. What's happening, family? It's Uncle Tabsy here reporting live from Johannesburg. You think you would know that coming to Johannesburg would come with a bag full of surprises, and you wouldn't be lying to think that. That's why, because today I'm here in Joburg, I thought, well, let's make the most of this time. Start the year off strong. Start with a bang. And I thought, wake up at one off. In fact, the only big media personality worth noting around this time here in South Africa. I am waking up with... I can do whatever. Zoom-gaga. Zoom gaga. We're waking up at Sumizi's house. We've, been, we've literally spent the last couple of hours together with him bribing me with cups of coffee to say he's the only loved personality yes. in the country. Morning, Sumji. Good morning. How are you doing? I am fantabulous. Thank and you how so are you? much. I'm good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us here at your home. It looks absolutely stunning. And I'm Thank so you. excited uh, that uh, our first week back on the air and we get to start in this way. We're starting so, so strong. But you've been so busy. Yes, I've been so busy. Um, if it's not the book, yeah. uh, the book signings, the tour, it is the radio show. Oh. If it's not the radio show, thank God we just finished <laughs> Idols. Um, and now we are working on a shoe range, sneaker range, which is going to be launched in three weeks' time. This is incredible. This is yes. absolutely incredible. You have to tell me all about it. But maybe let's start here. Uh, we've just come from the festive season. Yes, we've just come from the holidays. It never leaves. But, but that's the thing. I was going to ask you. We took our decorations uh, down on the 11th. And no. I think that's the tradition. It's been here 
since 2018. Okay. So let me tell you the truth. Okay. If you leave your Christmas tree on, yeah. the universe says, oh, it's time for giving. I get it every time around Christmas. Yeah. It says it's time for giving. Okay. And the universe, it's gifts and gifts and gifts. Yeah, during the period. the whole year, it's gifts You are being and given and throughout the year. Gifts the whole year. You've got to love it. I love it. So what did you do for, for, for your holidays? How did you spend your holidays? Um, unfortunately, I didn't take any holidays, but mm. uh, I've got a holiday home in Zimbabwe. So um, Christmas was here yeah. and the New Year's was uh, in Zimbabwe. Yeah. And um, Christmas was just intimate. And I think this is how Christmas yeah. should be yeah. like. Um, intimate, we were able to have conversations. Yeah. It was just eight people uh, myself, my husband, uh, my nephews, yeah. and little kids. Yes. And it was beautiful. Seven o'clock, switch off the lights, watch movies, and pass out. I, I love it. The one thing that you're failing to mention, Samizi, and I think that this caught the attention of so many people out there, and I'm not the only person who's still so thrilled around this experience, is that yes, eight people, but you've got new family members down in Durban. Yes. There's monkeys or baboons. I mean, they've joined your family, they're a part of your life now. They look after and the house. And I'm so mean. No, 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 no. He knows how cool is he. He's a part of his family. I'm going to talk about this in yoga. I'm going to talk about this <laughs> have you so, given them names? The, yeah, the, no, yes, there's Casper, there's Busiswa, there's Moonchild, um, and there's Sia. Okay. Yes. And I guess the only way to tell them apart would you'd, you'd have to look and just based on, let's say, Casper's size, you would find the monkey that looks yes. in yes. this shape. Sia is tall, yeah. is bold, is, has got such an amazing presence. Yes. Uh, Moonchild is naughty. Is. Yeah. Okay. Moonchild is, is naughty, okay. loves okay. bananas. Okay. Um, um, uh, Busiswa is yeah. energetic, expressive. Feisty. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about your book. Yes. I left my copy there. I was looking at the, we'll, we'll, the gizzards. I yes. was looking at the oxtail. I mean, it, it really, I mean, that is the book to have Thank this you. year. And the people of Mzansi have spoken, and that's why it's sitting at the number one spot at the moment. Thank this you. is exciting. So easy. It is super, super exciting. And, and for me, when I was told, mm -mm, don't even try it. It's not going to work. It's not going to succeed. Yeah. And I said, mm, you know, I love it when people say no. Yeah. Because I, I don't, I turn my, their no's into yeah. my yes. Yeah. So um, when the book was released, mm. I was nervous, but first week the internet was broken, boom, um, because we did the pre-orders, and I was like, wow, yes, the great, were but swiping. I, I get it why, yeah. Yeah. I get it why. I think a lot of people were scared of the kitchen, mm. or a lot of people are intimidated by the terms and the languages that yeah. most chefs use, mm. and I mean, I, like I say, so easy, I am not a chef. Well, you've made the world of food and culinary so accessible to everyone, and you're taking so many of your experiences and your stories and really capturing them in that book in the most beautiful way. Um, I, I'm surprised that you say that a lot of people thought, no, don't do it, it wouldn't work, because everything you touch really does turn into gold. Thank you. The fact that there are still people who say no when you come up with an idea is quite shocking. Does that happen often? I take it back when I say a lot of people. Some people, because if... Well, uh, some. Uh, the fact that there's a lot of people, who yes, a lot of people have supported it, and that's yeah. why it's, it's sitting at number one. Yeah. Um, some naysayers uh, were like, no, you, you all... Because people don't believe that one person can be, can have multiple mm. talents and I believe mm. everybody has multiple talents. Is that your message for the year? Is that part of your message uh, of inspiration for everyone out there to say tap into all of your skills and all of your talents? Don't limit yourself. What is your, your, your ultimate message um, um, for, for people as they start the new year? Be unapologetically driven. Mm. Be unapologetically amb ambitious. Mm. Go for your goals. Like you, Tabi, so you are a presenter, you can be an actor, you are a mm. singer, you are an entrepreneur, you are a model. I mean, he's you, you, saying. Yes, I mean, he, and, and I'm saying lying. things that I see in you, yeah. and, and I believe everybody can. As long as there's a Mama uh, G65 yeah. said th that song sums it all. Yeah. Forget but what in syndrome. Yeah. But you've got a song out. Uh, you've got the book, which is packed with all sorts of inspiration as far as recipes are concerned. You've got an amazing life and an amazing husband, mm. uh, Muhali, who I can't uh, wait to chat about. But you're going to be making food for us this week. Yes. You're going to be preparing some breakfast. Yes. So you want to make sure that you keep tuned right here on SABC. It is your feel good breakfast show. And connect with us on social media. Let us know what you think of Samizi's book. It's Espresso Morning Show SABC3 on Facebook. It's a feel good breakfast show. Oh, oh, oh. Why he's got a brand new <laughs> single out. <laughs>
I love it. You can definitely be exactly. whoever you want to be. 100%. Look at Sumizi, being a singer, mm -hmm. being an author, mm -hmm. just being himself. And we love you, Sumizi. Mm -hmm. I love him Homo. so, so much. Well, listen, man, as he's mentioned, go ban, ilababan, do his personal mantra is be unapologetically you and go get everything you desire this year. Feel Goodness continues shortly after this. I can make my day. Welcome back, you're live on Expresso ahead of a bumper weekend of sport because he's been working on his all-round game. In fact, he's one of the best all-rounders in the world of sport right now. We've invited Captain Cookie back to chat to us. Uh, a very good morning, Cookie. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Graham. Thanks, th thanks for having me back. Uh, great, great to see you. Let's, let's talk with the, the first bold decision. I think you've made your intentions for the day very clear. Talk us through your decision to wear that shirt today. Oh, Graham, look, I was doing other conditions today and I thought, you know what, it's a bit, um, it's, it's, it's a bit of wind there, so I thought, let me, let me protect myself and get a, and, and get a shirt on. Um, not hot enough to, to, wear, to, wear, to, wear, to wear a jersey, so I thought, you know what, let me stick with a shirt. And it's Friday, so feeling a bit festive today, and I thought, yeah, let me make it a little, a little bit floral. And I, th I think that's going to really inspire the rest of the team as well. So quite a bold decision there. Let's talk about your career. You've been, in fact, tagging Espresso for the better part of two years, yet you've been left out in the cold. Two years it's taken <laughs> to get you on air. How do you feel now that you've made it onto the show? Listen, Graham, obviously I've been tagging you guys just waiting for a chance. Um, one, thing, one thing that's taught me has just been perseverance. You know, you just got you, you to push through. You just got to keep, keep tagging and keep tagging and keep tagging. I thought it, it was easy to give up, but now awesome to, awesome to finally got the opportunity. And I think uh, from now it's about uh, taking the opportunity and, and running with it. So I'm very happy to be back on the show, to be finally on the show and glad that uh, I got the call up.
Yeah, no, I think the fans are also really glad to see you out there on the, the field of play. Let's talk a bit of football. I know you're a Chelsea fan, so I think uh, you have to concur that London rivals Tottenham Hotspur are going to win the league and that Chelsea's a, a really terrible team. <laughs> Uh, Graham, unfortunately, no even live TV, I, I, I will admit that. Um, um, obviously, it's tough, to, it's tough to watch Chelsea at the moment, um, but not tough enough to say that Spurs are going to win the league. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be able to concede that yet. Um, obviously, we were looking at the uh, Liverpool and, and the two Manchester clubs. I'd rather have them win it than uh, see another London club win it, unfortunately. And then bringing it back home, of course, the big tragedy of this entire sporting year, the fact that now with lockdown, a bit of rain, brying has been cancelled. Yeah, that's tough. You know, um, it's, it's, it's definitely hurt us. I think um, not being able to brow outside because uh, because of lockdown and and be, and be able to bring people over. I think what's best now is going to brow over Zoom. Unfortunately, that's the best thing to do. Everyone's just going to just brow over, over, over a Zoom call, and everyone obviously spies they meet over the camera. And obviously, that's the best way to do it now. I think um, we, we've got to. We've got to stick with the times and adapt, unfortunately. If you can't adapt and make adjustments, uh, you, you, you'll get lost in this world. Well, we've just heard that load shedding is about to kick in, so we're going to call our interview there. Cookie, all the best of luck with your decision to wear that shirt today. Let's hope it doesn't blow up in your face. Um, good luck and well done for finally making it onto the show. Thanks so much, Grandma. I'm sure the shirt will do me well, and thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. What a guy. What a guy, man. That's made my day. You can go and check him out on social media. We'll certainly be feeding him and hopefully getting regular sporting updates. And you can continue to let us know how you're feeling about the big derby this weekend. It's Manchester United up against Liverpool. Let us know on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. Thank you so much, G. It's time to have a final look at those news headlines. Starting off with your national news. Now, Cape Town has made the best cities for remote working list. On the travel website, Big 7 travels 50 best places for remote working in 2021. Big 7 Travel is a travel website with an online community of 2.5 million people. Cape Town's alderman, James Force, said targeting digital nomads is in their overall destination marketing strategy and would become part of the city's new international campaign. He said COVID-19 had changed the way people work and that working from home had become part of our everyday. In other news, Stats SA has committed to doing everything in its power to ensure that the 2021 census is carried out in the coming months. This as COVID-19 infections escalate in South Africa and elsewhere in the world. Statistician General Risenga Maluleke yesterday said that their plans would be adjusted as and when required based on the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The once in a decade count is the most important measure of the country's human capital gathering so and economic information. Now moving further abroad onto our international news, the Tanzanian government has invited interested bidders as it auctions 30 tourist hunting blocks within game reserves and other areas. The Tanzania Wildlife Management Authority has set out requirements for companies interested in the blocks, including being registered within Tanzania, intending to engage in hunting of animals, as well as having at least one director with five years of experience in wild Life based business and conservation in the country. Some of the hunting blocks are located located in the Salaus Game Reserve ecosystem, which is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In other news as well, uh, archaeologists have discovered the world's oldest known animal cave painting in Indonesia, a wild pig, believed to be drawn 45,500 years ago. Now painted using dark red okra pigment, the life-size picture of the Sulawesi water pig appears to be part of a narrative scene. This provides the earliest evidence of human settlement in the region. The painting may be the world's oldest art depicting a figure, but it is not the oldest man-made art. Now in South Africa, a hashtag like doodle created 73,000 years ago is believed to be the oldest known drawing. And now a touching story concerning magnificent Mustangs. The Sky Dog Wild Mustang Rescue Sanctuary in Oregon has posted a video on social media which has already recorded some 8 million likes and a more touching love story one just couldn't imagine. It concerns Phoenix, a magnificent wild Mustang, his lead mare Ghost, and Claire Staples, owner of the Sky Dog Sanctuary. Now after seeing a video of Phoenix scaling a barrier, 
After capture in a manner she'd never seen any other horse do, Claire adopted him. But Phoenix was sad. At times, he would stare off like he was looking or waiting for something. Claire soon realized there was also a mare in the video and she began a search for her. She eventually located her and brought her to the sanctuary and named her Ghost. Well, Claire captured their emotional reunion on video and when Phoenix spotted her from a distance, he called to her, stared at her, almost in disbelief and then trotted straight towards her. Next, they both bent their necks into each other, touched noses, uh, neighing softly and they ran off together. Undoubtedly, even after two years, they still adored each other dearly. Now, Phoenix and Ghost are now forever together and free and will happily grow old side Aww. by side. Oh, that is just the feel good that we need. But that is where I leave your news headlines for now. Here is G with a final look at your sport headlines. I have to say, after talking to Cookie this morning, struggling to keep myself serious right now, but let's do it. Let's get into the business end of the sporting weekend. There's going to be a battle for top spot in the Premier Soccer League when defending champions Mamarodi Sundowns face Super Sport United at the Lucas Moripe Stadium. That's tomorrow. Sundowns and Super Sport sitting in first and second place in the standings with only two points separating them at this stage. Some other big fixtures to look out for over the weekend. Cape Town City will host Kaiser Chiefs, a resurgent Chiefs at this stage. Uh, Baraka FC, they take on Swallows the surprise outfit of the season and Black Leopards will be up against Orlando Pirates. Staying with football, Arsenal and Crystal Palace played out to a goalless draw at the Emirates Stadium in a forgettable English Premier League encounter late last night. Both teams walking away with that single point as Palace ended Arsenal's four-game winning streak. Then looking ahead to the weekend, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Certainly in England, all eyes will be on Anfield when arch-rivals Liverpool take on Manchester United on Sunday. Kickoff for the encounter is at 6.30 p.m. on Sunday. And then finally on to tennis, world number one, Andy Murray might miss the Australian Open after testing positive for the coronavirus. The 33-year-old Briton is, however, said to be in good health while he remains in quarantine in his home in London. The Australian Open will start a little later on the 8th of February at Melbourne Park. That's three weeks later than usual due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And that's an official wrap of your sport for this Friday morning. Let's take another look at some of your beautiful sunrise pictures. Thank you so much, Jamie, for the news headlines and G for the sports update. It's time for us to get into the final look at what the skies have in store for us today. But first, your sunrise pictures. Thank you so much to all our viewers that took the time to send us their sunrise pictures. We really do enjoy seeing your part of the country. Louise G. Sherry, a regular sunrise contributor, sent us this picture of the sun peeking through the trees in Alberton. And Usfundo Lala sent us this unique view from the Valley of a Thousand Hills in KZN. We wish you all a wonderful end to your week and a safe weekend ahead. Please do not forget to head over to our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page if you take any pictures of your part of the country this weekend. We would love to feature them during our sunrise segment. Global meteorological agencies agree that 2020 was a scotcher, but they did not, or rather they are divided on just where it ranks in the temperature records. For NASA, last year is in a statistical dead heat with 2016 as the warmest year. Others, including the UK Met Office, believe it is second in the rankings dating back to the 19th century. But all these agencies agree that the last 12 months are part of the warmest decade on record. Taken together, they show the global temperature is now around 1.2 degrees Celsius above the 1850 to a 1900 average, sometimes referred to as the pre-industrial figure. And while greenhouse gases declined by around 7% globally last year in response to the coronavirus shutdowns, this wasn't sufficient to affect temperatures. Now we bring it back home with the temperatures of our beautiful country. Starting off at Bologwani, 41% chance of rain is forecast this Friday. Bloemfontein, the rain continues in your part of the country. 22 is your low, reaching an afternoon high of 31 degrees. Pretoria, some times of sun and thunder showers. 17, 28 are your temperatures. And Josie Maboneng, Johannesburg, your temperatures range from 15, reaching a high of 26. Mahikeng, be on the lookout for some thunder showers as 46 
6% chance of rain is forecast for your Friday. And Glexdorp, it's going to be wet conditions today in your part of the country with a low of 19, reaching a high of 28. Kimberley, 63% chance of rain forecast today, 1826. Bloemfontein, 1724. Be on the lookout for some showers. And Richards Bay, you start off your day with a low of 25, reaching a high of 33 degrees. Peter Maritzburg, 2132. Do not leave your umbrellas behind. 40% is forecast for the day. And Durban, South Africa's playground, you start off the day with a low of 25, reaching a maximum of 32 degrees. Mtata, it's a rainy day, 1827. East London, Gyanet, and Aguelo Tala, 20 is your low, reaching a high of 30. And Credoc, you kick off your weekend with a minimum of 16, reaching a high of 29 degrees. Port Elizabeth, be on the lookout for some showers today. 66% chance of rain is forecast. And George, 1726 are your temperatures for this beautiful Friday. Cape Town, 1623. Worcester, 1321. And Sutherland, so far, no rain expected this Friday with a low of 8 degrees, reaching a high of 27. And we finish off with Uppington, starting off the day with a minimum of 17, reaching a maximum of 27 with 62% thunder showers expected. This was the final look at your weather this Friday morning. Please remember, whichever part of the country you're in, whatever the weather, make sure to have yourselves a feel-good kind of day. Oh, well, the rest of the show is shaping up to be very feel-good. Indeed, we're going to be back with Samizi in just a moment. And Devanisha and Walken is still here to serenade us with another beautiful performance by this duo. So you don't want to go anywhere. We'll see you after this. It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> San Bonani to Melanga Busheni. Hello. Do you know which show's oh, yeah. theme song this is? No. Oh, Sounds wow. like Takalani says me. No. <laughs> Almost. Close, close, <laughs> that close that face, that face was like, what? <laughs> no. <Get out. laughs> but you know what? Which show? JP? Help, me, help me know which show. Which mm -mm, show? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, We're going to get smart. into what you do know. Okay. And that's a movie to look forward to this weekend on uh, SBC. Uh, that sounds like a test. <laughs> it sounds like after what I just, how I just shamed myself in front of you. You have. This will be the final. Test. And for me, that is just Sambunani, wonderful. Sambunani. Um, Dumala. 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 Hello. Okay, let's get into Sniper. Please, for everyone's sake. <laughs> I, um, shame this poor musical performance is going to sound like one of the greatest on earth ever after what I just did. Sniper. Mm. Starring Tom Berenger, who looks like a dude who I know who has troubles from the Rhodesian War. 
<laughs> so, oh, very scary looking guy. Um, when you were a kid, did you have by any chance, like, uh, it's, it's such a weird phenomenon, but like, mm. my dad and I would share this war TV series we watch, or this war movie, mm. like, we watch it like at sports. Maybe that's some weird machismo stuff that all men need to sort through, but... Oh, no. Speaking of machismo, Sniper, starring Tom Ber Berenger and <laughs> Billy Zane. You have to do the voice, because this was 1993. Billy Zane. So, uh, do, do, do me the trailer voice. One man. One man. One bullet. One bullet. Shiniwa. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so the story is Tom Berenger is this master sniper mm. and he uh, is uh, fighting in Panama. Who cares about storyline anyway? Billy Zane yeah. is one of the strangest actors we've ever known. This was obviously pre-Titanic. Shame he's good, but he's also like, I was speaking about Brendan Fraser earlier. Where's he been on the radar? Fortunately, 1993 wasn't the last thing. This, however, if you're into war schlock type stuff, mm. I love Predator when I was a kid. I still love Predator. I will, uh, that's the hill I will die on. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Tom Berenger isn't one of those huge, well-known action stars compared mm. to Sloane Schwarzenegger or Van Damme, but maybe you get to make up your own mind if he is the macho man for you in Sniper in mm. Panama. This, uh, when is it? Sunday. <laughs> on, <laughs> I'm gonna on FABC3 at 9.30. Uh, yeah. Uh, inflict that on yourself if you like, but sometimes you do need brain dead fun. Mm. What sort of you go to that's just like, for uh, just brain dead schlock? That to just will... unwind. Yes. Anything animation, anything rom-com kind of vibes, and that girl. Okay, so I feel like we know me. this by now. Uh, again, I'm being tested so much. So we not know Relationship this? on the rocks here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm clear. kidding. Oh, but would you, are you going to watch Sniper? Is it something that you are I looking I am forward? dumb enough. Mm. So I can't spare the brain cells. Mm. Uh, it's very dangerous right now. <laughs> like I'm, Need to put those on lockdown. Yeah. Need to preserve them for 2022. Oh, please. 2021 is looking bleak. Do your best to do that. <laughs> but now we're going to move on to the next movie, Mission Impossible. Maybe you've heard of this guy, uh, Tom Cruise. 25 I've years I've heard ago. about him once upon a time. 25 years. This guy has been dicing with death. 25 years. Because he obviously does his own stunts. They per affectionately in Hollywood. Does he? he? Does. Come on, Kukle. I didn't know that. They refer to him in Hollywood affectionately as the white man's Jackie Chan. Uh, because oh, Jackie Chan does all these own stuff. Uh, so, wow. uh, Tom Cruise has just nearly died way too many times, and he <laughs> seems like nothing will stop him since Mission Impossible 7 comes out this year. Mm. Number 7, 25 years later. Uh, but Mission Impossible 1 is one of these classics of um, the spy genre. A lot of people talk about the Bourne supremacy, Jason Bourne. You yes, must know yes, 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 yes. So, that was the one that brought grit to is the. Is that Mark? Sure, Robert. why not? Um, Is it? No, it's Matt Damon. They look like the same person. The but white it's man's fine. Jackie Chan. <laughs> uh, and let's not get into it. I said that. <laughs> I'm not racist, I swear. So, uh, Mission Impossible uh, sets the bar as far as uh, that goes. It's the one that, for me, started the grit. Mm. It's the one that started the hands on fighting. Before the spy movies were like Pierce Brosnan just pouts 95% mm. of James Bond. Uh, and even though we love Pierce Brosnan and James Bond, I'm sure, this one is so classical. Uh, John Voigt, before he turned mega and weird. Uh, and Tom Cruise, who has been, like I said, doing the dance with the devil. Is that his half-brother, Emilio Estevez? In interesting. Still <laughs> side factoid there. But Mission Impossible, who doesn't love it? Uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, that last one that came out, was one of the greatest action movies ever made. Mm. Uh, this dude's devotion. Um, the, the train scene that you're looking at here, which was the climactic scene in Mission Impossible, that took them six weeks to film. A movie tops takes two what? months. Just that scene, this is how ridiculous he is to his devotion to creating. Sure, the dude's a multimillionaire, and sure, he's weird, mm. and sure, he jumped on Oprah, he like pantsul out on her body, basically, <laughs> um, on, on her own show. <laughs> but I really love his devotion to making pure entertainment. Like, yeah. uh, he's, he's there for you, even though he gets paid the big bucks for it. He really puts his body on the line, yeah. and Mission Impossible was the first one that he started doing this after the Top Gun. After just looking pretty, Mission Impossible was him looking a lot more, like, mm. hands-on and serious. We're in for number seven this year, so start with number one on mm. yes. SABC. One. one. At 9 p.m. this coming on Sunday, Sunday on SABC One, Mission Impossible from 9 p.m. Especially because the seventh one, seventh one, is coming out this year, so it is a great reference for you if you are planning on checking that one out. JP Sebastian, thank you so much for always coming through and elevating our movie knowledge. Sambunani, do me long. Oh Shani, hello. Oh Shani, hello. <laughs> what is it? I'm sorry. All that wow. talking has made me hungry. Are you ready for some breakfast? I am ready for. I bet you Chapiso is ready for some <laughs> breakfast, and I think Sumisi is going to cook him something quite spectacular. Yes, we are starting our day with none other than some easy. Let's cross live right there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, yeah. so I enjoy my space, but I also enjoy watching you own your space, Sumgaga. Now, the salmon is going, is it salmon? Be- before I mess it yeah. up, because sometimes I get it wrong. Yes, there's trout, there's, this is salmon. This is salmon. So, and the L in Sumizi's case is not silent. So, what are we making for breakfast? We're making, um, it's in my book. Yeah. It's called Kota Canapes. Okay, what well, book? Gotta kind of gotta kind of pace, it's, which is somewhere there. Inspired by. Mm-hmm. Well, While you do that, I'll go through the ingredients that you've got on yes. here so that we take people through what's happening. So, guys, yes. just in case you're wondering, it's me, Uncle Tebs. You're reporting live to you from Johannesburg this? at Sumizi's house. It's waking up with Sumizi. We are doing it the best way we know how. Okay. So, Sumizi's got a book out. So, we weren't going to come to his house, especially with a book out, and not have him make a recipe out of the book. But the ingredients seem pretty simple and straightforward. So, yes. is this, uh, you've got some yogurt. Yogurt? No, yeah. wait, put, put it there, put it there. Wait, there. Yes. what is this? Plain yogurt? Plain yogurt. We're making a, a, a breakfast smoothie. Okay. Yeah, it's called some tropicana. Some tropicana. Yeah. And you've got the a plain yogurt, plain yogurt. In there. I love it. And yes. then put acha. Acha! <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> frozen bananas. No, no. acha for real. It's not going it's in for the smoothie. water kind of paste. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, frozen uh, bananas. Frozen bananas. And then frozen pineapples. And then, uh, a smoothie is your thing that you... Yes. Go to every yes, morning. I, I, I have to go to gym, so I have to eat something light, but okay. that will give me energy as well and then healthy as well. Uh-huh. Nutritious. Some pineapple. Uh, pineapple. Slices. Uh, try to freeze them mm. because it, it, it's it's summer. Okay. So you need that fresh something. Mm. Uh, this is protein powder. Protein powder, which yes. is great for a gymmer like yes. you. Uh, and me. I think all the guys with six packs like us turn mm. to the sort of thing. Yes. Yes. To and then put it protein there. Powder going protein in there. powder. Yep. And then I forgot to choose. Whoa! But you've got some, uh, Manje, what is no, this? No, that's for Kota. Okay, so everything else is for the Kota. So Missy's showing us how to prepare a breakfast in the quickest way. This is a man that's always on the move. At 9 o'clock, he's got a radio show on Metro FM. Let's hide Singapore Advertise. Uh, what is this? It's shoes. 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 You're nearest Woolworths. Yes. It's the best. Woolies. But I always shop Woolies. And oh. it's okay, we save. <laughs> right. Now, so what juice is this? It's, it's orange juice. Oh, you can use any, any juice. juice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, go put there. Okay. In the thingy. Do you do this to Mohali as well? Just like boss him around the way that you I boss wish me around Mohali in the kitchen? L- lays in bed and he expects breakfast to come to him. And so you take it to him uh, yes. in, on a tray? Yes. Okay. Like, so. There we go. go. We get that tra-la-la, going. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la. Going, going, going. Then here, mm-hmm. it's salmon. Halagasta. Halagasta. And then here, mm-hmm. stop. Then come on. It's so hard to socially because it's so easy, guys. Yo. Okay. Here we're making, um, we're making, um, I can't eat kota in any mesh. Yes. You but I can use mesh. So now I'm, we're, we're pureeing. What are you pureeing exactly? Uh, papaya and evo. Papaya, evo. Yes. And then you're throwing in some lemon juice into it. Yes. What is the lemon juice to do to neutralize the flavors? To give it that zing and that zap. And that zap. And, and that ratata. Ah, love now, to hear it. Yes. Here we go. Oh, I, I love this. I love this. I love it's this. a madhouse. Now, this is what you do. <laughs> this is how you puree. Yeah. If I don't have this, that thing, you, use you can just use a spoon, a right? Fork. Okay, cool. yeah. a fork, a spoon, that should do. While your salmon is going there, maybe yes. it needs to be... T- ah! No! Okay, you can tell I'm not used to being in the kitchen. I burnt myself a little bit. That's easy. Uh, but this is so nasty. Boom. <laughs> You're literally going to start seeing it come right. I'm going to look now like the I'm salmon. Mm-hmm. And then now, we're getting the bread. The bread is going... So you got bread in the oven. Yes. What is this? Garlic bread? Yes. Oh, I can smell Please it. Please remove my coffee. I can See? smell it. Okay, right. So here's we plating here, yeah. guys. I love this. Can I do this every day on espresso? Please, can you love do it. this at I least once the, a week? The, 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 the energy, the the, 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 the the rush, the rush. Yes. Uh, so that's going, which is uh, a salmon that's going to be going into the kota. Yes. Well, this is a really fancy kota because ordinarily a kota is a quarter of a loaf. Yes. Uh, but, but clearly here we're on a diet. We're rationing. No. We're not eating that much bread in this house. I mean, look at these pieces. This, this, we're is, how this, is, how your we're this is how you impress your friends. This is how you impress your friends. So we're taking it to a guy's still. Yeah. So here we go. We've got our puree mm-hmm. thingy. Do you want me to help you? No. Okay. You wouldn't know. You know nothing about the kitchen. Okay. Then you plate like this. Okay. You plate like that. Uh-huh. 
Maybe what you can do, you can cut squares of squares. Yeah, small squares okay, of cool. salmon. Ooh, right. I must burn myself, right? Uh, look at Sumizi doubting if I actually even know what a square is. No, <laughs> whether you know how to cut. Um, you know what? I am hopeless in the kitchen, but I must say I found that since joining Espresso, uh, my, uh, my my kitchen skills. You know, you need to cut through uh, the skin. Uh, oh, this guy. Never mind. Okay. I can see why Mohali would rather be in bed while all of this is going on because it's a I lot of pressure. I can't stand slow people. Well, you know what? Maybe I should go to bed. You then will organize this for me and Mohali because no. I see he's over there getting ready and you can bring it to us in bed. How does that sound? It sounds wrong. It sounds wrong? Yes. Okay. Because you're abusing me. Okay. Now, here we go. <laughs> Look at this. My quarter. The archer is going in. Kind of pay. Uh -huh. The archer is going yeah. in. Da 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 da. Uh -huh. How much time do you have? You've got the time to serve it to me because I've got to taste it before we go anywhere. I've yes. got to taste it. How much time do you have? We're tasting time. That's Talk what we have. To us. Guys I'm gonna to... grab one. So I'm gonna grab one. Please grab one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How oh, fun. Oh, the garnish. Well, okay. Let us know what you think of this recipe in the meantime on our Facebook page. And there's so much love coming through at yes. the moment. I mean, we're seeing all of those comments coming through on the screen. It's Expresso Morning Show, S-A-B-C-3, hashtag Expresso Show. It's uh, uh, well, breakfast with Sumizi, and we're waking up yes. with Sumizi. And look at this. Yeah. This is how you impress your friends in the quickest possible time. Uh, what did we call this again, though? Gota Canapé. Gota Canapé. Yeah. Got to love it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, Yes. Mm, 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 okay, mm, that's a mm. movie. Where is it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, the glasses. Yeah. Yeah, the glasses, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> now now you're putting the harnat. <laughs> this is Poma. Salmon for breakfast. Uh, that was undoubtedly the most chaotic then, breakfast ever made, but absolutely amazing. Um, so cool to be hanging with Smeezy. We'll be back with him in just a moment and with you. Stick around. <laughs> Are you ready for a sizzling summer holiday in Zanzi? Your best holiday is yet to come when you book at any participating Marriott branded hotel. Redefine your holiday with a beach break, nature retreat or a road trip adventure. With the Marriott Summer Holiday Offer, you can enjoy 25% off standard hotel rates, including free breakfast if you're a Marriott Bonvoy member and 15% if you're a non-Bonvoy member. Book on Marriott.com for the best rates guaranteed. your feel good breakfast show expresso here on SABC 3 it's the 15th of January it's time for us to celebrate your birthdays happy birthday have a happy, happy, happy birthday happy birthday a very happy birthday to you hey here we go come sing fast happy birthday happy birthday a very 
Sing along with us, everybody, because it is the time to celebrate your birthdays dedicated to you by your loved ones. We are going to kick it off and we're saying happy birthday to Lebo Hang, Mochejo, Devonte, Dayton, uh, Lindiwe, Leonard, Rochelle, Cassidy, and Tando Punana. All of them are celebrating their birthday today on the 15th of January today. And from all of us here at Express, we want to say happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful day. Now, if you would love to wish your loved one a very happy birthday, make sure to send us your 15 second videos, such as the ones that we are about to watch right now. Hello, I just want to say happy birthday to my little sister. I know it's a little late, but you're the best thing in the world. Thank you for everything. Love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Cassidy, from Mommy and Daddy. Love you so much. Happy birthday to you, Tandor. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. birthday team may you enjoy this day i love you so much say what okay so those messages were for rochelle and cassidy but the message at the end for tando wow whom's are you we need to find out who you are we need to get yes. you on the show because girl you can sing you've got pipes we should have given her the microphone actually the spoon of fun. <laughs> <laughs> now you can send us your 15 second videos on whatsapp to 071 6406551 so you can wish your loved ones a happy birthday live on the show we might even just give them a young cold call to brighten up their morning and make it a true Happy, happy birthday. So, Devinisha and Vulcan have been entertaining us. We've gotten to know them. They are quite lovely people. So, now we're going to punish them with a game of word match, music match. Dun, dun, dun. dun. No, think of it as an opportunity, Vulcan. I know as, as the instrumentalist that you're desperate to have the limelight. Yeah. And yeah actually I'm get on the mic and sing. Yeah, I'm going to completely out sing her. And she, that's why she's nervous. That's, about yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm that nervous. nervous. Yeah, I, can, yeah. I can feel the anxiety across <laughs> the room. Let's go. Don't joke, this is a tough game, guys. <laughs> this is a really, really tough game. So we're going to play a game of music match. If you've watched the show, you know how this works. I'm going to give each of them a word. They've got to sing as quickly as possible a song that comes to mind that features that word. Some of these words are quite difficult. <laughs> I'm going to give us cornucopia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what did you, you used the word er, uh, Okavango. You used Okavango earlier, so I have high so hopes for you. You guys can do this. So we're going to get started <sighs> here. Um, I will, I'm going to give Tiffany the, the oh lovely my. Oh my gosh, go for it. The, the first of our words. Are you ready? Are you up for the challenge? I'm not ready, but go for it. <laughs> you anyway. don't have a choice. Oh, I'll um, be out. Um, it's, and, and you can, because yeah. you, you guys are a duo. The first word is sun. Um, um, here comes the sun. Da -da -da -da. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. That's my job. Yeah, exactly. I think she undersold you there. <laughs> Fantastic. Really, really good. Just good effort. Let's go. <laughs> Are you ready? <coughs> weekend. Weekend. <gasps> I have a dirty song for the weekend. Um, vampire Weekend. Okay. A vampire Weekend. Um, <laughs> Oxford Comma. Um, it doesn't sound like a song yet, dirty. Dirty. but it's getting there. What's that Oxford Comma? I would sing. Is that a, is that a Being a guy coming for me. Mm -mm. I gotta say, I'm in the mood for a little that was, bit more, but that's a, a bit really too risky. It was a really good effort. Like you, five out of ten. You used your, your hands as a musical <laughs> instrument. Yeah. I'll just do which the, I I'll thought just was do quite the, good. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's, it's yeah. one off. You. You. You is the word. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you. Um, come on, choir child. You are the new day, new day. You are well, the new sunshine. day. You are my sunshine. Do, 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 my do, only day. sunshine. You make, make me happy. When I'll give you. A, you are a half viewer. A, you a, share yeah. like one brain. I love okay, it. Okay. You're gonna get a half a point. You're gonna get so two players a half. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, are you ready? <clears throat> this one I want you to feel in the Always. heart. Heart. Uh, my heart will come. Da da dee doo dee doo doo doo. 
Oh, oh, oh. Every night in my dreams, I see you. My heart goes on. There we go. Come on now, Ty Ty. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. He's a Jack. And Rose. No? No, no, no. I'm waiting for the Every night in my dreams. Oh, must we get to the south? To the I can't see you. I'm the king of the world. I see you. I feel you. Do you fall with every one? I'm the king of the world. 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 We'll go on. We'll and on. And on. And on. <laughs> like how we were trying to get to that word. We've just become a trio. We've just become a trio. Ah, uh, I love it. I'm going to give you another half a point. Um, because that was, Good it effort. took a while to get there. Thank you. Uh, this one, I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. Diva. I'm a, a diva. I'm a, I'm a, a diva. Na, 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 diva is a female version of a hustler. Of a, of a hustler. Uh, yeah. Come on now. Uh, it's, uh, uh, come, come, come. That's, that was we amazing. We love it. Uh, Okay, are you ready? I'm going to give you something to climb. It's a mountain. Mountain. Um, uh, mountain. Mountain. I have a. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Ain't no heavy low enough. Ain't no. Oh, climb every mountain. That's what I was thinking. Depending on what mood you're in. Oh, man, I really suck at this game. It's oh. okay. Is it okay? Yeah. Or, on the other hand, you're really good at it because see, it's, it's made for entertainment value. <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Cell phone. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone. <laughs> uh, lay now when you need uh, my love. <laughs> okay. okay. <clears throat> he's, still think, he's still trying to think of one for, for yeah, her. Yeah, yes. um, oh, oh, it gets easier, don't worry. Is, is, is it mine now? Monster. Monster. Um, monster. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> Monster. Um, Monster. Monster. Um, it sounds like a heavy metal song. Yeah. Come on, help me out. Monster. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm a monster. I need a monster. My bed, along with the voices inside of my head. Come on, Rian. Rian. I, nah. I think I'm the telepathist, if that's a word. I, 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 so you're I'm just, you're feeding it to me. Okay, I'm going to give you one more. Just because, thing. because your encyclopedic knowledge of <laughs> yeah, music should, is actually blowing my mind. <sighs> happy. Happy. Because I'm happy. Thank you. I got it. Thank you. Oh, man. She left you. I think she left you. Yeah, yeah, you. no, no, no. She's. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Get away. Oh, you, gave, you made me laugh. You made me cry <laughs> yeah. a little bit. You made me dance. That's what we want out of a game of music match, guys. Thank you so much for having a little bit of fun with us. I promise you, I'm going to let you play your instrument again. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, And show us that you actually yeah, do yeah, have yeah. a musical chops. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Devani Shad Vulcan <laughs> are going to be performing again in just a moment. Stick around. Thank you. <laughs>
Really no one gets it. I'm again going to go in. I'm Sanjay Expresso Show here on SABC3. Listen, the feel goodness continues right now. Yes, we have all fun and games in the studio. It's time to cross live to Tabiso, who's standing by with some easy. Take a look at this. Thank you so much, Kusle. Thank you so much, Jamie. Yes, still coming to you live from Johannesburg. And this morning, we're waking up with Somizi and Mohale. We've visited their home, stunning home, out here in Johannesburg. And we're really just taking it all in. I am thoroughly luxuriating in all of the beauty and all of the amazing energy that comes out of this house. You really cannot help but fall in love with this entire experience. And uh, Mohale has finally woken up from bed. He realized <laughs> that he wasn't going to get the breakfast in bed that he's become accustomed to. I mean has joined us. I need. I'm sorry to disrupt your morning routine. It's okay. It's because okay. usually Somizi would be bringing you a big tray uh, full of goodies, right? Yes, and smoothies and eggs and, and everything. And all of that. And today <laughs> I'm here. I, I said to him I was going to come join you up there and then he must bring everything because he's just too much work and too much pressure in the kitchen. How do you cope? Is that why you stay in bed so long while he does this? I can't do anything in the kitchen except wash dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are exactly the same. Uh, so Easy, the smoothie is out. Yes. Uh, what are we calling the smoothie? Some Do you have a name for it? Some Tropicana. Yeah, it's okay. in the book as well. Some Tropicana is in yeah. the book. This is really awesome. And I mean, for you, this must be really fantastic, seeing this entire experience, this entire journey unfold in this way that uh, that it has. Because you have seen some easy cook at home before he had a TV show, yes. but before he had a book as well. Uh, how does it feel seeing it all come to life? Look, it's amazing. I mean, we, we, we spoke about it in, in 2017, just oh. after we met. Yeah. Um, he already had plans of wanting to have, you know, his own show, uh -huh. his own restaurant, and his own book. Mm -hmm. And, you know, watching it all unfold is really amazing because it really proves that he really said, this is the goal that I have and I'm going to achieve it. Mm. Come rain, come sunshine. So mm -hmm. I'm really proud of him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, a proud husband. A proud <laughs> husband. You've got to love it. Well, guys, we're going to play a game, all right? Mm -hmm. I thought if we're going to come to your house and uh, we're going to be joining the Mutaung Songos, um, we, we, we must play a bit of a game. Mm -hmm. um, I spent quite a bit of time with you and yes I heard you showering and all of that so that's a bit of time spent as well but here's how the game works I'm going to give you guys a scenario okay um, and you guys have to explain who it best describes so for example if I say who's always late uh, and then if I'm guilty of this so if either one of you is guilty of this you will put up your hand and say you're the person that's always late and explain why that and what, is what trying to get to there's no one who's late you just look at each other and go ah uh, okay uh, or whatever okay cool Let's start. Let's get into it. Ne? Cool. Uh, so, who is the most romantic between the two of you? Why? Um, and how? I'm a hopeless romantic. Yeah. I, I go all out. Mm -hmm. I'm a movie type of romantic. Mm. Um, and there's no occasion. Every day is a special occasion. Ah, oh, is that true? Because you have to also say yes. Very it's true. true or not. True. This is Very fantastic. Uh, okay, so who is the untidiest or laziest? Um, I'm tempted to guess. <laughs> and he's not putting his hand up. <laughs> he doesn't agree. He doesn't agree. Really? Mm. Okay, why are you lazy and untidy? I disagree. Okay, maybe not lazy. Maybe untidy. I maybe when last did he make his bed? Exactly. Okay, when yeah. last did you wash the dishes? Yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, yeah. Because I said so. No, but you still wash them. Yeah. Exactly. But you wash them. You wash them. Yes. Well, you wash them. Okay. Uh, who said I love you first? You know in a relationship it starts and then you're like, don't say I love you. You're, like, you're going to make Mohali look like a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get the answer. Yeah, that is yeah. answer enough. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, who is the first one to say I'm sorry after a fight? <laughs> <laughs> you 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 don't you don't play that. You like hey. you'll take your time. Um, okay, so who's the funny one? I think. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Yeah. Why are you the funny one? Or how yeah. are you the funny one? Ah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, who takes longer to get ready in the morning? I do. So you don't even acknowledge it. You're just like still. Mm, yeah, why I do you do. take so long to get ready? I've got my beard. Yeah. I've got to clean my shoes. And your beard connect. Um, you know, so I, I have a lot of things to do before I can actually say I'm ready. And I have like five outfits to choose from. Quick one. Who's the best kisser before we go? Both. Oh. <laughs> I love it, guys. You really have been so fantastic. 
Thank you. I, I, we should do this more often. I think that you guys uh, have such a welcoming and a warm energy, and it's really been so. You've so got fantastic. a deal. When you come to Joburg, you must come here. Every single time I come to Joburg, you're going to be seeing posts from me in this house. Thank you so much, guys, <laughs> for welcome. having us here. Thank you. I love you both, and uh, it's been so inspiring to see your journey uh, in this food space, particularly because you've owned it with so much passion, with so much vigor. You. And Go you guys agree. Book. You guys Go are buying the book, the book and you Please should buy the book. Thank, Thank you so much for connecting. And let us know what you thought of all of this this morning, waking up with some easy Express All Morning Show, SABC3. So, okay, so this is fantastic. So, <laughs> who is more? What a beautiful morning waking up with some easy. Uh, but now for the real celebrities that's also in the kitchen right now, <laughs> making up a spicy Korean burger. Are you ready, boys? <laughs> You said it, ladies. It's spicy and it's Korean inspired. Inspired? Inspired. And it's going to be made right now in our kitchen. And it's actually made me so hungry, I don't know what to do with myself. Burgers in the morning? Are you crazy? But it's a weekend. We want to, we want to chow down, man. We want to uh, enjoy uh, ourselves. Okay, I got a question. What's wrong with having burgers for breakfast? Nothing. Okay, a lot of people out there will probably be like, no, you can't do it. But, 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 yummy. me out. Okay, so you get <laughs> yeah. your protein. Yeah. You get a bit of your yeah. veggies. Course. You get your carbs, but you need all those things to start your day. It's a well-balanced diet. And you hold it in your hand. Completely. It's easy. Less utensils to be used. It's a burger Friday, and today Chef Clem is going to, yes, indeed, show us how you can make your own spicy Korean-inspired burger. Uh, burger and the, the secret, obviously, a, a thick succulent patty, of course, that's at the heart of this meal, and some soft spongy rolls, and then naturally some killer toppings. You ready? Killer. You ready? I'm just dying to know what's going into our sauce that's going yes. to cover this. Okay, I'm going to talk about that. Where do we begin? In Where do we bit. begin, bro? So the reason, well, it's Friday. Yeah. It's Burger Friday, sure. and Willies have come through with the eating deal, so you can save up to 42 rand when wow. you get the patties, okay, get the buns, get the side, get the cheese, and then just because you know they they know. They know. You also get the clays included in the, the promo. So make silly. sure you get all of those things together and save up to 42 rand. That's, that's like, a little That's silly. the deal. Okay. That's the cost of a burger at a burger joint. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Okay. So you're going to work on the Korean element for me. Okay. So I've I'm got ready. the rosa tomato salad, which is also in that eating deal. Okay. Can you add the cucumber and the tomatoes? Maybe you can even halve the tomatoes. Okay. Little I tiny can do tomatoes that. I can into do your that. bowl. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring the Korean flavor through with this product, which I'm obsessed with. It's called gochujang. Gochujang. Do you want to smell it? it sounds like something from Dragon Ball Z. Please, I do. It is. Gochujang. Whoa. It's made with the fermented red pepper. It's a little spicy, but mm. more than that, I'm it adds down some, with the spice, my friend. You know, I'm it down adds with this, the spice. It's like deep, deep flavor to it. And again, we've been talking about umami mm. so much. It adds that. And then it's like a, a little bit of a, a sharp flavor to it as well. But we're going to accentuate that sharpness with a little bit of vinegar. So you're going to almost marinate your cucumber and your tomatoes like a pickle. So instead of normal pickles, we add these to the burgers. Okay. You're winning. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm winning. There, I'm the winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. So the thing about a burger, we've spoken about this so many times. When you cook a burger, you cook it as you would a steak. Okay. Uh, so you want the, the crust, the, the yeah. sealed crust kind Absolutely. of vibe. Okay. So once it goes down, whether you're doing this on the braai, whether you're doing this in a normal pan, whether you're doing it in a griddle pan, once it goes down, you leave it. Let it just do its thing. Then I've got another pan here to toast the buns. Okay, so, so what, am I, what am I adding to my kind of pickle? Yeah? Okay, a little bit of gochujang. You got a spoon? <clears throat> that, a little bit of that gochujang get in your... Yeah, no, that, that went straight into my, my it's sandwich. It's so delicious. When you say a little bit like hummus. Like, like a, a, tablespoon. a tablespoon. And then, oh, it's so, so, oh, so good. Oh, that's wicked, man. Okay, so a little bit of that goes in. Oh, that, that's good. And then your vinegar. So that's going to, like I said, that's going to be your pickle. Wow, oh, sweet and spicy. You want, do you like that? Paste you, you can have that. I marinades and sauces. You, I'm going to You can take have it, that. So then I've got the Woolies and Ultimate. All of this? Yeah, all of it. I've got the Woolies Ultimate buns. Just half them. A little bit of butter goes into our pan. And then, as soon as the butter starts melting, you kind of like use your bun just to move the butter around the pan. Okay. So you can create enough surface area for the two patties. And then you get your buns in, and what you do is you kind of like swirl them around in the butter, picking up all the butter that's in your pan. The reason uh, for that okay. is we know butter burns, right? Mm. If you're picking up all the excess butter, the pan's not gonna go black. It's not gonna burn. Because uh, all the butter is sitting on your bun. And look how quick that is. That's Perfect. so quick. You just wanna get a nice crust in it. And I, you, I, honestly, if you're gonna make a good burger, toast your buns, mm. and it adds like, the toasty flavor, the texture, but it also, and you uh, Yeah, it gives the buns a bit of backbone as well for all the sauces yes. and the things like that as well. It's not going to just kind of dissolve away into a messy mess. And it kind of softens the burger as well. Um, would you make this pickle like well in advance? Can you chow it next summer? How long do you want the, you the ingredients to sit in, in pickle? <laughs> make it in advance, go ahead, and then obviously the longer it sits, the more flavor it's going to pick up. Oh, this is smelling fantastic. So, if you were in a restaurant, instead of just flipping it over, you want to get those fancy cross hatches on your burger. Okay. So that's how you do it. Same thing with 
with a stick. So what you're doing is you're going to come in and you're going to turn it 90 degrees. You can decide 90 degrees up, 90 degrees down, it doesn't matter. And that's going to give you that beautiful like square pattern that you sure, want in your burger. Sure, okay, I see what you're saying. And the reason we also do that is because the more char you get in your burger, the more flavor. Uh, we know this. Okay, okay. cool. So, let's Because you're essentially caramelizing those fats that are in the burger. And a good yes. burger patty should have a nice balance of yes. really good meat and, and the fats there for the flavor. Cool. Absolutely. Okay. okay. So, we're going to... I like doing a glazed burger. It's a little bit of sweetness coming through. Okay. I'm gonna, I would let, let this sit for like another minute, but just because we've got to go. Turn it over. You can see we already started with that cross hatch pattern. Nice. Good to go. Like I said, you wouldn't like, mess with it. That's what happens when you mess with your burger before Don't the time. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. A little bit of glaze, and I love the bright smoke. The smokiness of this, mm. with that slight smokiness of the goji jang, perfect. And that's quite a Korean flavor profile, that smoky, sweet. Smoky, yeah. sweet, absolutely. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, here's the thing, and people are gonna maybe not like me for this. When, when someone orders a, ro a rare burger, I don't feel like you're wanting a burger. I feel like you want a steak. Mm. I feel like a good burger, medium rare, acceptable, but anything less than that, then you're not really getting that burger flavor. You want sure. it charred. You want to get that crust. We're not it. eating steak tartare here, but no, you know no. what I'm saying, which is great in its own right. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. So sliced cheese, and I like the fact that it's already sliced. Yeah. All you got to do is easy, just like, pop it down there. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. I'm loving emmental, emmental, uh, yeah. On on a burger, that's my current favorite. Like a good cheddar, great. A good Gouda, great. We've got so many good cheeses. The nice little sharp little nightiness oh, okay. you get. Okay, so you've popped it on there so it gets a bit of pre-melt going yes. on. Okay. But also that glaze and starts to spread over the burger. Mm. It's gonna start melting. I'll go for like another minute. Let's hit this glaze. Let's, let's build this guy. We should have the lettuce little bits. Okay. So we're not gonna waste this. We're gonna take the lettuce out of here. Go That's gonna go down on our bun. You can add a little bit of extra goji chang on that if you want. So again, imagine, at this, as it is right now, it's like a medium rare burger. We're What's your chang? This is my go-to chang. Mm. It's your what? This is my go-to chang. It's your <laughs> go-to chang. Okay, cool. Dan, if you can spoon your delicious pickle over the top. Oh, that, oh, those burgers are smelling amazing. And then reserve that liquid as well. That'll make an amazing salad dressing, so don't waste that at all. I kind of like the little bit of leaf coming out the side. That's mm, okay. You I know. Tickle you, your nose as you go yeah, for a you bite. Yeah, you want the sauce, man. Want the yeah. sauce. How's that? What do you think? We could double that up. We could double that up. Oh, no, you didn't. We're doing it. It's you, Friday. You're so crazy. And when it falls, it's okay. It's, ah! it's cascading. Don't laugh. There we go. laughing at our cascading burger, and I'm going to put... More, more, yeah. more, more. Yes. Just, just a little bit more, because this go to Chang is, is the hero of the day for me. Nice. There we go. And you get yourself like five napkins and you attack that. And then you, you wait and you listen for the angels playing little harps and singing from on high because that is amazing, Do you know buddy. what I also just realized? We did this from scratch in real time. We did, eh? Yeah, we, we didn't actually cheat. did it from... There was from... no television dissolve. Everything was made here from scratch. Beautiful, fresh ingredients. Um, a burger combines so many great foods. Uh -huh. I think that's why we love it so much in this country. You're getting that smoky element from the griddle. Um, it's just amazing. How, how do you bite it? You, you just, you just one bite it. at a time, careful. <laughs> and you know what the trick is actually, when you do eat a burger <laughs> like this, one you, bite at a time. you don't like bring it. it over your, your body, you lean forward. Yeah. So any juices will fall inside yeah, your Yeah, we've got to actually got a whole juice, uh, juice bowl. Are you going to go for it? To capture it. Are you going to try it? Are you going to do it? Dun, dun, okay, dun, okay, dun, okay, okay. You can do a bit of a squish to get it down. I'm, oh, I'm going to have to. You've got to kind of clock. Wow, look at this. That's the way. <laughs> Do we win? We win? <laughs> I'm sorry that you have to listen to the sounds of my swallowing on air. <laughs> How's it good, you was, Oh, that was amazing. The, the smokiness, the sweetness, then you get this little like zing, a little bit of spice. Absolutely delicious, buddy. You're gonna have to make this one at home. I promise you, you will not uh, be disappointed. This is your weekend meal, and you can save over 40 bucks putting this all together. And you get the eclairs to chase it. Absolutely amazing. Well done, buddy. Mm.
Well, there's your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on SABC3. It is Friday. It is time to whisk you off into the weekend. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this next performance. Devonisha and Wilkins' popular song, Mzanzi Lullaby, is quickly becoming a local favorite with Devonisha's silky vocals slipping from rolling lows to silvery falsetto choruses and great tone combined with Wilkins' melody out of his guitar. We can understand why they are one of the top up and coming artists from the mother city. Oh, yeah. Now, you have to close off uh, Expresso show this morning. Please welcome back to the floor, Devonisha and Wilkin. Take it away. Thank you, ma'am. The sun is under the sun Is a child and a mother Singing my name after dark Embroidery skies with pearls Show journeys marked across the sky And leave your blueprint As a road map Stretch your hands to the fray Where my arms shape the earth Butterfly goodbye. This is my solo. Never mind, never mind. It's a merry go round. This is my Mzanzi lullaby. My madam butterfly goodbye. This is my solo with a purple haze and a flash of light. My Shovel can take a bow, you beauties. Thank you so much for blessing us with your talent today. It has been so cool to host them and play along. I feel like I put them through the, you know, did. that, that you did. game. That was it fun, was, though. It was one of the most enta entertaining yeah. music matches so far. So, guys, thank you so much. We love you. Um, have an amazing weekend. And to the rest of you guys, have an amazing weekend. Because it is the weekend. Enjoy the football this weekend. Liverpool, Manchester. Man United. Keep Woo! it real. No, we'll see you Monday morning. Love you. Man United. <laughs> Made with love by Clover. Uh, never feel good production.